Frick it, we're recording. Ray yeah, C no, that's fine. put on some socks with massive holes. Confession. All right, man, take the floor. <laughs> well, I mean, you gotta sniff it again if we really want to get in that environment. Yes. There he goes. Oh yeah. my god. Oh. This one's a little less natural, but that's okay. <laughs> Yo, we're recording, boys. <laughs> If you want to just go, we can yeah, hey, yeah, we'll go. Whatever. Let's do All it. All right. Let's do hey, it. Welcome to OSR's podcast on Minty. <laughs> What's going on, boys? <clears throat> Rake as always. Sorry, I was not ready for that. And hello, it's me, Rice Cup. And today we have Flompo again because apparently his first podcast with us was so goddamn banging that, you know, he had to come back for a second one and maybe a third one and stuff. But uh, yeah, we're going to be talking about, uh, you know, one of the biggest topics of all time for RuneScape this year. Old school RuneScape. New skill. And maybe cover some other stuff. But um, anyways, welcome back, Mr. Flompo. The man that saved the GE, apparently, you know. And people believe you, yep. so. <laughs> do you, Flompo, do you know that you are our third most viewed podcast ever? And, and that's, like, including J-Mods, Solo Mission. Like, you're third. Yeah, yeah no, I, I had the... How that works. I had, my, um, I had my mom just hitting refresh on the video for the past... <laughs> Was it been six months since I was last on? So yeah, like I'll, I can ask her to stop eventually, but I figured yeah, for now it's, that, it's a good that play. would make sense actually. The view duration is like thirty seconds, so yeah. yeah it, it really? <laughs> no way. Uh, it gotta be at least a few minutes, you know. <laughs> at least a few minutes. Probably, probably a few. Probably a few. No, well, thanks, today, thanks for having me back for sure. We we are disciples of Flanfel today. We are students here to learn. Uh, but before we get into his beautiful idea for a new skill, uh, Rice, could you break down how we are going to pick a new skill with, uh, I guess, voting mechanics from old school RuneScape? Because right. I yeah, feel like I, a lot of people are confused. How are yeah. we getting this new skill? I, I, I think we just need a quick refresher on the history of, um, you know, the idea of a new skill in old school RuneScape, right? Because this is not the first time that we've had this proposal of a new skill. It's It came, like, it started, like, many, many years ago. Uh, one of like the first ideas they had was like sailing or artisan. Actually, it might have been two to three times because I remember they tried to pull like at least artisan for sure, which is basically was one of them warding. Was it? Warding? Yeah, yeah. That, I'll yeah. I'll cover that later. But like the first <clears throat> big one they tried to do was artisan, which is uh, essentially slayer but for skilling, right? Production. So they're gonna tell you to make certain things. Uh, but obviously, it was like a very like, well, what's the point in that? You know, it seems like it's too basic of a skill so people ended up i think it was like 60 percent yes so it was far it was still quite far away from actually passing so the sentiment back then was like all right it was it was very much a 50 50 and then eventually uh, two years later or so uh these you know these numbers aren't exact that but they they decided maybe warding which is a bit like a crafting skill with magic you know you create certain things that have certain effects you can place it on the floor for certain effects so it was like, okay, a bit more unique, you know, a bit more like original. But at the end of the day, I think uh, it was like a 60% vote rate for yes. So it, again, it still missed the mark. And, fa you know, fast forward a few more years later to now, they're trying again. Except this time, they're not going to actually tell us what skills they're uh, proposing right away. Because they just want to ask again if the community uh, overall, you know, like at le if at least 70% of the community is down for a new skill then you guys need to vote for it because once you vote for it which by the way spoiler alert, it passed which means that jagus is now committed to trying to uh you know pull a new skill so so we didn't actually pull for officially a new skill yet we're just pulling for the acceptance of the idea of bringing about a new skill right so distinction very important uh so so their idea is this now right now that that stage has passed they're asking uh, the community a lot more heavily this time to give them ideas on what kind of skills they want to see, right? And later on this year, they're going to gather all that feedback from us and also, you know, from their from their own heads, right? The JMods have their own ideas and come up with three of their best ideas from the entire pool. We don't know what they are yet. No idea. But they're going to eventually tell us in a few months. The three ideas and then we're gonna vote on those three ideas uh but like but but before the the whole voting ultimately happens uh they're gonna go through some revisions they're gonna try to revise the three ideas based on our feedback you know as time goes on and eventually there will be like the ultimate vote you know of whether or not any of them will pass and if 
Because if none of them passes, then there, there, there's no new skill. But if one of them passes 70 plus percent, then then we're gonna get a new skill, whatever that is. So yeah, there's like a lot of different steps here uh, to go this time. So it's it's interesting. We we don't know what they are yet, and that's kind yeah. of where we are at. We're we're just waiting for <laughs> them to tell us. <laughs> Jagex yeah. has been hurt by us so often. Yeah. They had to come through this whole me mechanism here on to get a new skill because they don't want to put more time and effort into something we're just going to vote no on. Because, oh, yeah, I mean, I warding, I remember the, the, the pictures, the skills. They had their heart set on all these. We're just like, mm, not today. I'm good. So now yeah. they, they changed give it us up. This whole yeah, they I changed like it up big time. They're also allowing people to test the new skill in beta worlds, which I think is like... That's yeah, perfect. yeah, that's that's a really good idea. And, and that's if like their their top three ideas, any of them passes. You know, if they do, then yeah, they they're gonna go through that stage of gathering feedback to refine it, and then ultimately, yeah. you know, it will come out and then. It, but, but you yeah. know, I think that's such a good idea because it's kind of ballsy in some ways because like the skills kind of it's gonna have to be somewhat fun, or people are not gonna spend any time in a beta world training something that is unfun. Like if it's rubbish, like if it literally is rubbish, nobody's gonna go test it out. Or if they like do, it's gonna be for a few fire minutes. making, and they put it in beta. Imagine, ask. yeah, yeah, it literally. <laughs> imagine, lit. like, yeah, or it's agility, lit, nice. or anything yeah, or really. Lit. Have you yeah. guys seen the? Um, there was a Mountain Dew promo going on, and it said that you could name the new Mountain Dew flavor if you vote on it, and it just kind of reminds me of how this is going down. I think what one was like Baby Hitler Junior. <laughs> <laughs> like oh my god they couldn't put it out because Honestly. it was just not good yeah <laughs> that was the community voting on something so let's see how this goes yeah i mean at least this time jagex gets to choose though between community yeah. feedback and their own right so who knows they they might just be like y'all y'all feedback's crap i'm sorry reddit you know sorry twitter i have we have our three and we're gonna use that we don't we don't know they'll never tell us probably right because you know there's no reason for them to tell us which which feedbacks we really hit the mm -hmm. you know hit the nail on the head for them right but, but we we'll should have done some research and gathered like the three worst skill ideas <clears throat> and promoted them to the to the uh, to the boys on the no podcast. no worst idea is uh like dating <laughs> you know turn that into dating. a real skill yeah yeah no, no, oh, no, okay. my, my friends chat were prostitution yeah yeah something dumb i think it's you know it, it sounds like snapchat but creepy, but yeah creepy version but should we move on to uh, Flomple's TED talk on his, uh, you know, all-encompassing philosophy Let's build of a new up the skill? Hype you know, first, bro. all right, this is gonna yeah. be the okay. best okay. thing you have ever heard. Flomple has made this skill from scratch. It is <laughs> flawless. It encompasses everything you'd ever want in a skill on RuneScape, and it would make you switch over from WoW. All right, get those expectations. Yeah, bro. He, I mean, he he saved the GE, bro. You know, with the GE tax idea, he was whole one of economy. the first ones. The whole economy. He saved the game could be over by now. If he it saved your lives. You know, if you guys don't know what we're talking about, you better go watch the last. Uh, yeah, we'll we'll card it eventually. We'll card it up there so you can click on that. But after you watch this video, but like he's he's about to save RuneScape again. You know, from the second coming of whatever it is that we're facing. You know, right now, <laughs> the next five years is on the line here. The new skill. You know, so yeah. Yeah. By the way, I think, I'm just. Uh, <laughs> just with it, Rixie. Rixie yeah, hasn't spoken me. yet this podcast. Yeah. Oh, dude, I'm so sorry. I told you I'm a little bit out of it tonight. It's a late one as well. Dude, his by socks the way. as a whole. Yeah. We started this podcast at like half eleven my time at night, so there's that. Like and this plus, video for that. Plus today's been a super active day for me because I'm doing this fit man mode thing on Twitter, <clears> so <throat> I'm a little bit out of it. But what I was gonna say is we haven't set a like goal. There are no expectations for this video. Mint Mad Cow, you have disappointed me yet again <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Happening, I'll, bro. I'll make it up to you real quick dude all right drop a like right now and if you don't like flomple's idea unlike it but if you love it if it's the <laughs> yeah. best thing you've no ever pressure. seen you Leave eat it. that like right now do it right now drop a like listen and decide all right bro that's a great idea but do you know what even be better than that if you if you end up disliking flomple's idea tell us why dis right. dislike the video and tell us why so then we can see how many nice. likes on it versus yeah yeah just be, be like nice. i respectfully community. do not like your idea and here's why thank yeah. you that'll be like yeah, just I'll, tweet I'll, at I'll me you guys. like the video <laughs> but if you dislike it tweet yeah just send yeah and tweet follow Fompo and tweet at him yeah there we go. <laughs> yeah uh, no I, I definitely want to start with uh with a bad joke and this one's for rixie and it's uh why All do right. golfers bring an extra pair of socks when they go play golf 
in case they get a hole in one. <laughs> I know this one. Oh, bro. Oh, my God. Dude, that's perfect dad joke right there. Answer, you Very fool. Good. If you guys like uh, toe jokes, what do you call a guy with a rubber toe? My uncle. Roberto. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Holy shit. In case if anyone didn't know the answer to the first one, it was a hole in one. <laughs> right. Wait, did you not hear him say? He literally said it. Uh, no, no, I was laughing. Yeah, I think you guys jumped over it. Yeah, yeah. you already knew the answer, so you laughed when I was saying yeah. it. Oh, okay, good. Um, uh, nice. Yeah, well, for sure. Thanks for having me. I said it a bit earlier, yeah, but Yeah, Flopple's a married man now. Should we talk about that real quick and hype that up further, you know? 100%. Yeah, he's a man man now. It happened. The only the only reason why I'm even remotely known, like the people stop in game, they're like, I know your name from somewhere. You're the one with the hot sister. Like every time, hundred <laughs> percent of the time, it, it doesn't. It should bother me, but it also shouldn't. But it's like I, I just find it hilarious. That's like, why is that the one thing you guys remember about me? Whereas like I mean, Behemoth uh... made a joke about my at the time fiance or girlfriend being my sister one time, and that was just like everyone it saw sucked. that video. It really yeah. sucks. True. Holy yeah. shit. I think Torvasta mean, had that treatment uh, as well. He showed his girlfriend on a video at one point. Again. And that was just, yeah, <laughs> never again. Yeah. That's, that's always a mistake. Always. always. I mean, I don't even know if you should bring it up, but the whole a friend, you know, I love I love oh, God. him and his lady was, that was something. Was, was that a lady? You know? You know what I mean? God, that, was a, that was a whole chapter of yeah. Like, yeah, yeah, right? Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, like, no, you should not, not be, a, female, you should not not be like... assuming genders in 2023, man. No, I mean, like, I'm, no, I'm, I'm talking about, I'm talking <laughs> about, like, the no, craziness. No, I'm sorry, your friend. She was great. Bryce yeah, got me yeah. thinking weird. It's been a while, bro. No, Come I'm, on, we'll I'm just, no, I'm just no, implying the craziness of their relationship, you know? Yeah. Right? Was one was like an innocent man, and the other one was like, I don't know, it was like crazy shit, you know, manipulative shit. Anyways, yeah. boss so man, I've got, I've got a genuine question. So, um... Obviously, since marrying your sister, have <laughs> your friends and family treated you any differently? Has there been oh, any like noticeable changes? Everyone, uh, every single person says I, like one of two things. They're like, "Oh, does it feel any different?" That's the first thing they ask, <laughs> and the answer is no. It literally makes no difference. Like we just we had a party one night, and that was it. Like that's the only that was the only change. And then wow. the next thing is they just say like, "When are kids?" And it's like. Yo, give me a second like i'm still playing runescape like come on like when runescape is gone in 12 years then maybe i'll consider it but oh, uh he's seen the future can't save the game after that huh bro that, do you know that's years. like that's for, like seriously though like i've been on youtube for a long time now and something you notice with a lot of uh channels are a bit more personal where you get to know the creator and like maybe you get introduced to like their partner and in some cases where it's like it's literally a couple that make vlogs and things like that there's like a tremendous amount of social pressure from their viewers like the amount of like i mean i followed like a few over the years and it's like some of them like ended up breaking up and it was like the pressure from the community being like when are you guys gonna get married when are you gonna have kids and, and like the the trouble with that is like it's it's a horrible thing when you think about it. It's because like they could still be together if it wasn't for that like pressure and forcefulness. Because like for sure, if all of the comments were like fifty percent of your comments are like, when are you gonna propose? You know your girl's gonna be thinking about that and probably she's gonna bring it up. Yeah, no, it's such an interest interesting like dynamic. But yeah, I, 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 if it, I'm a, I'm gonna keep it all private kind of guy. It's like I, I'm just here smart. to make videos, make Very content. Smart. Bro, you out. just started the podcast sniffing your own sock. <laughs> that that will give you likes though. Well, it was if, worth if it. anything, dude, if anything, that's a compliment to my partner because he obviously does a fantastic job of cleaning them. They smell, they smell lovely. They smell like home, yeah. you know. It's comforting. Even if there's a hole in one. Yeah, you know? even with the hole. <laughs> we are just barreling off topic. All right, yeah, yeah, let us know. All, all this hype yeah. is done. The hype building is done. Okay. Um, yeah, I pulled up a bunch of bunch of things as while you guys were talking, Rick, uh, Rice Cup. You were talking about the previous skills. So they did pull. Uh, you you were right. They pulled uh, artisan first, and then sailing second. They actually pulled. Sailing. Oh yeah, they were sailing the in there. The amount but it... of work that they put into sailing was like an afternoon. Like one afternoon, they're like, let's pull sailing, and then yeah, they just, yeah, that's why I actually, forgot about that. It one. even says on their wiki page that they it was originally a like a a, a joke. Like they yeah. had it as a, an April Fool's joke, 
where it was like a pull blog or like a blog went out in 2014. Like that's how long ago it was. So yeah. Um, and then they pulled warding as well. And warding was the closest to passing. It had 66.4. Like if it if it was at 70 percent at that point, it was it was at 75 threshold. If it was at 66, like that's pretty close for a skill like warding to make it into the game. That was uh, definitely yeah. a close call. And then our most recent poll, which was the 16th of December, uh, 81 percent people want a new skill in old school so that's one in five people don't um but that's still a pass. pretty decent amount you got to think like if if you get you know 10 people in a room two of them don't want a new skill there's probably two other people that have quit that would come back because there's a new skill like they'd come back and they'd train and get max cape again or they'd be interested in it remotely so i think from a uh from a standpoint of jagex like they're not not shooting themselves in the foot. They're not going to lose a ton of people because they've added a new skill. If anything, they might uh, they might get more. They probably will. They're going to promote the crap out of it if it uh, whatever. Yeah, skill. it's like it'll be the yeah. biggest update of all time. Yeah, and that's honestly that's the first thing I'd say about like this skill proposal is like this should be like this should be the biggest update of all time, and nothing should ever come close to it. Whereas in the past, warding was like a a little tiny expansion to the crafting skill. Or little tiny expansion to smithing like that's all it was and i think that's why like people looked at it and they're like this doesn't look fun to train first off like i'm not like waking up in the morning and being like oh i'm excited to go to like you know people who like pking they wake up and they're they, like they want to go you know whoop some noobs ass in the rev caves right like mid mad cow's nodding his head he's like yeah that was this morning man i, I got out of bed at 6 a.m <laughs> yeah no, and the same thing with like doing raids or like hunting purples, whatever it is. Like you're excited, genuinely, to do it. The new skill has to be. It has to have something for everyone that gets everyone out of bed in the morning and looking forward to whatever that new skill is. Um, and yeah, definitely, all of the previous skills kind of put into one. I don't know what you want to call this one. Uh, for now, call it sailing if you want, because that will be like a core piece of it. But um, I think all of the skills should should be touched on. All the previous proposals and things that were pulled should be sort of part of this new skill as well, and just be like this massive update that pleases as many people as it can. Because we are a community that uh, needs to be pleased for sure. It should have something for PKers, something for raiders, something for skillers. Like you can't just have like warding is literally just for people who skill. Like they would only train it to get a max cape or to get that level up. Like there's no other reason. You can just buy Mystic from a shop. Or you could make it through warding anyways didn't make sense to me um Amen. yeah for sure so if we want to call the new skill sailing go for it um doesn't matter what the name is the, the I main call it concept flomple. the flomp yeah the flomp flomponating <laughs> um yeah but I, I, the other skill i considered was fire dousing uh, i thought that'd be pretty pretty sweet you know you could uh, you see someone laying fires trying to get their fire making up and you can block them and take their fire making xp just by like pissing on their fire or like pour a bucket of water on it or something. I think that would have been a pretty good skill. Uh, maybe in landscape four. Firefighting. That would be fun to watch. Yeah. Yeah. Firefighting. Let's go. That's perfect. If anything, they get an emote. Hundred percent. They should. Um, no, but okay. So let's let's call it sailing just for just so it has a name and people people know. I just opened my um, my spreadsheet. You can oh, see the color of my face change. There we go. Um, yeah. So basically, the the main idea of sailing, like. How do you train the skill is is a big part people don't know like what's what's the skill like how do you even train sailing they think it's going to be like a lot of people genuinely thought that sailing would just be you get to port serum you right click pay 30 coins option and you'd have a little sh shitty cutscene that brings you to the island and you get some xp that's what they thought <laughs> sailing would be oh and then other God. people thought that's the bad. bone voyage quest where you, you know, you do the thing where you're like trying to tilt your boat. Yeah. Oh right. God, I hated like that. that. That was so bad. Like I it was just that was horrendous, dude. I was remember bad. that was around sailing, and I'm like, this is this. Yeah, be exactly. So I think sailing in a lot of people's minds has that negative kind of like connotation to it. They like, hear sailing, they're like, oh God, I don't want that because that's what they see it as. But to me, I think sailing is just like a vessel, literally, that brings you into just like the biggest update ever with a ton of content, a ton of rewards. And I think the focus would be on like, you know, the rewards aspect of it. Like, what do you get out of sailing? Like, why do we need it? Whereas warding, there was nothing at the end of warding that was like, oh, I'm looking forward to that. Like, what are you going to do? Like, make an extra set of upgraded mystic? Like, it's just not, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't anything enjoyable or anything exciting. Um, so for sailing, I think what it should be for training it, and this is part that 100% up for debate, 
you your character becomes the boat, and when you click, the boat moves to where you're going. But I think it should. I don't think it should be like a just like. Like I Thomas the Tank, was... face in the front, bro. JJ the jet plane kind of shit. Yeah, why not? Thomas right. the I don't, train. Think, I don't think you should, uh, like, when you click, then it, like, starts the boat moving. And if you, like, click to the right, depending on how good your boat is, determines how quickly it starts to turn. Um, the Blood Reavers at Nex <clears throat> can move half a tile per tick, which is the first ever monster that can do that. No wonder they're actually... so weird. <laughs> yeah, they're really weird. So yeah. you can have a boat that, like, when you click, it starts moving at, like, half a half a tile per tick, and then it gets up to, like, a higher speed, and depending on what boat you have, faster speeds. Regardless, however it's trained, and, like, you actually action it, like, I think it'd be cool if you're trying to get to an island, and there's kind of, you know, there's stuff flying at you, like the sepulcher, and maybe you have to, like, move out of the way, and depending on how light your boat is, you can actually maneuver quicker. Um, that's just, again, just ideas. I don't know what people like or don't, like, dislike about it, but um, I think that for sure, like, the way it's trained is, is the biggest part of it. Um, it could just be, like, you travel somewhere and you, like, raid an island and at the end of it you get, like, a 30k speed drop. Like, like a farming, like, when you do a farm run or something, like, check a tree's health. I don't know. So that part we can definitely come back to. I'll kind of press on to keep you guys even remotely interested in this idea. Um, I was thinking for, so each, like, level, like, level 10, 20, 30, 40, each time you get to another level, you unlock another group of islands. Uh, maybe that doesn't start to, like, level 30, like, maybe level 10, 20, 30, there's, like, a couple, like, one island, two islands. Um, they start off as just, like, these tiny islands. Um, you know, something like the size of the Wizard's Tower is, it's pretty small. Um, Pirate's Cove from Lunar Island, like, that's not, there's nothing on there, really. There's a couple of moss giants and, like, whatever. Like small islands at the at the lower levels, and the 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 thing of that is like you're just getting used to how the skill works. Like you know, it might be a couple hours to get to level thirty or something, uh, but after that, we've got bigger islands. So level forty, fifty, sixty, the islands are like the size of like Lunar Island or Waterbirth Island or Crandor. Like they're getting bigger and they have more stuff on them to interact with and things to do. Um, and then like level seventy, eighty, whatever. I I put each of these like it could be every time you hit like another 10 levels, it's like you've unlocked this group of islands and they can call it something or they can just say like tier 70, whatever. Um, say you, you unlock five, five islands and they're all like the size of Lunar Island at level 60 or 70. Each island could be a different part of a new piece of content. So you could literally integrate warding into being like, okay, I've gotten to level 60. And now I get to these islands, and on the first island is where you do part one of warding, which was like finding the materials. Part two is using this weird green crafting altar to make the stuff. Part three. So it's like the islands kind of link together. So you'd be like, okay, I want to make this new cool armor. Or it's probably not that great at level 60 sailing, but you go to island one, you start building your thing, then you have to come back to the whatever your port is and then island two and then island three and then after all that you've gotten everything and at that point you've got enough sailing xp to move on to the next set of islands so it'd be like five more islands the size of something like ape atoll with like a ton of content and this set of islands could be revolving around like dungeoneering or something like each of the islands has a dungeon on it that's like a 30 minute skilling based raid with a boss or three bosses in it like a half an hour like it sailing could be smaller like than what I'm discussing, where it's just a raid that you just sail to an island and you you do a whole thing there and then you come back with all of your loot. Um what, but that's kind of yeah. What the act what the activities like doing the raids or not raids, sorry, the dungeons on those islands give mm. you sailing XP? That's that was what I'm yeah. That's what I don't like. I'd love to hear your I mean, thought. Should, that would be like that should, should be a poll question, right? Like is the oh. do you get sailing XP by like just go like sailing back Blomble. and forth constantly like, yeah yeah so so my my feedback to that now after hearing a good amount of it is that of course you know how like you know how like training a skill there's many ways to train it right so it's not like necessarily if you're training mining you're just gonna mine the whole time you can do a mini game like a uh, volcanic mine to get xp you can do a quest yeah. to get xp so i feel like why why not you know obviously get xp during the actual sailing could be the bulk of it but also you get a lot of it just doing the things in there right participating in the 
exploration of the uh the islands right or participating in whatever because like i'd be weird you know to not get anything out of that because yeah, yeah i feel so, like they, they yeah. go together yeah 100 percent. that's what i was saying like do you get xp like every tick that your boat is moving forward like like how do we i don't know that's like open to the community where that's not like one of those poll questions where it's like a pass or fail it'd be more of like which idea do you like best for actually training it um, and it would be like, do you want XP every tick that you're sailing? Do you want XP after Dude. you've completed a voyage? Do you want XP Ooh. every time you chop a tree on an island that you sailed to? It gives you woodcutting and sailing. Like, also, yeah, it's like open. Another yeah. thing to add to your idea of like, you know, sailing as training, right? Because I, I, you know, I used to do this thing in in original RuneScape. It was called player owned ports, and and it was actually fun. But the thing is, obviously, it's much smaller scale, right? The idea is like you send ships with different sailors with different attributes, like you know, uh, sailing kind of like skills that in affect how successful certain voyages are. And it's not like when you go to a certain place, you actually physically go there. It's just like theoretically, you did go there, and then like you get certain rewards out of it, right? Yeah. Um. But like, so so like, obviously, when you train sailing through sailing to places, it's not like. You can physically go to them all the time because they're, they're, they can't make that many physical places that are different, right? That's going to be a limit. So, and, and of course, you're going to have to do this process so many times. So I imagine it would be like, obviously, you know, you will discover actual places that you can walk to and do things. But then a lot of the training, though, will be just going to theoretical places, right? That you, you know, oh, congratulations, you've discovered this type of thing. Uh, because of that, you get this much XP and you get this kind of reward or whatever, right? I think that yeah. have to be a lot of the the spam ability, right? The part of the training, if if in your in your case, so yeah, man. So I I, I feel like the name for some reason here in this, I think <clears throat> like the sailing instantly like I know this is obviously not the name you came up with, but it's like a buzzkill for me because I I just think meme. It's yeah, just, uh, yeah, I guess. I, yep. I, I'm thinking like a skill called like exploration. 100%. And I'm kind of, yeah. I'm kind of thinking like this is almost like right. We don't have expansions on RuneScape, but this could be treated as like the expansion, the water expansion, right? Yeah. Because that's literally what you're exploring, and you're going to new islands. What about mm -hmm. if they were to make it so they were to do almost like um, like an expansion more into underwater content, right? Imagine if there was like an underwater raid or something. And obviously, yeah. it would have to, it would have to be done in like a different way that it's been done because there's two yeah. things that come to mind for me and that's collecting seaweed spores <laughs> yeah. and doing the quest for rfd where you kill the crabs and it's just not yeah. fun but like they could definitely do like an like they could do like an expansion to that they could have like underwater raids maybe you find like a special whirlpool and it's like you can dive down on into it and then there's like a dungeon or something you know Dude, underwater you wilderness bro you yeah, mean, oh, but bro we, like we, slow we, speed so you can't run away so fast and you're just like you know, and shit, just underwater weapon and shit. Oh if they if they're gonna make this skill like amazing, it does need to be for everybody. And I'm instantly thinking, okay, so there has to be somewhat like um like a soul ship or something, like a special kind of ship that you can get where you can pass through the wilderness waters and it's like Dude, everything up there. Lava Dude, resistance. <laughs> everything up there lava resistance, that's hilarious. Yeah. Everything up there is like, you know, you can attack people and stuff, but they need to make it optional. If, Imagine dude, like, if, they have boat. to make it optional. You're just driving by of arrows and you're standing in multi and just gone. Well, yeah. well, dude, it would be really simple. What what they would have to do, obviously, is make it so that the loot that's in the wilderness that you go and do, if you were to do this, has to be incredibly good. Probably make it so you have to have like a relatively high sailing level to access that content. But like it would be worth training the skill just so you could go there, sink somebody's boat, mm -hmm. get their fucking loot. Like that yeah. would be really cool. I'm thinking see a see a thieves five. See if see a thieves, how you say that, Rake? So you heard of yeah. Sea of Thieves? See if these yeah, yeah. see your face? All right, sorry about that one. I'm thinking vibes <laughs> where like the boat when you make it is super expensive. So you don't want to bring these boats out to PvP. And maybe it holds like maximum ten people for PvP, because let's be real, you get like a boat with like two hundred people mm -hmm. on it, you're not gonna be able to fight that thing. It's gonna be glitching well, dude. through the sea. So they can like have, they can have the... different kind of boats. They can have different size. They can have like massive yeah, but... like warships with like a clan on versus like little speedy boats that can get away fast. Okay, like, I like the idea. And as long as the too. big boat is not going as fast as my small little boat. Oh, no, 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 no. Did you imagine? Slow. They're just yeah, yeah. zooming around the wilderness, one tab in every boat in sight because they got like Yo. 500 people on one big ship. 
But I like that idea. I mean, I'm, I'm thinking. Look, I'm thinking. If you don't like the word sailing, you can literally find a a, a the source. You know, what about boating? Yeah. boating? Boating. Water. Water. It could be boating. literally like marining or something, right? Or some. Marine. Yes. <laughs> I don't know. Let me find a word. Sailing. Yeah, I've got a lot of the stuff that your brains like just fired off on. Like I've like explored. I've like written it all out in my giant spreadsheet yeah. and stuff here. So He's I'll keep going. All. Yeah. I'll okay. keep going, and then yeah, like. A lot of this is like 100% stuff that it's like this would be it just sailing opens so many possibilities of like that's where the that's where the fun and the skill lies is like what can you do with it not like oh I'm excited to like move my boat around using WASD or like clicking and it moves like that's not what the skill is about I think I think it just like unlocks so much so I just have some like some notes in no particular order whatsoever. So like some of these low islands could have like Yo. great new training spots. Yeah, Fompel. I found the best word for this. Voyaging. Okay. It's a voyage. I like it. Bro. I like or, it. Or yeah, yeah, or navigating. I found some of the source. Dude, yeah. Real, real, yeah. real quick, just just before you go on, <laughs> on this, Wumple, I just had this another idea. I was thinking, right. So we're talking about lava. Imagine if like once you get to like 90 sailing, you can you can access like the hardest parts to sell. And it's like they actually make being able to navigate the ship like a skill in itself, right? If they yeah. were to manage to do that's that, that's what I want it to be, hundred yeah. percent. That would be so cool because it could be like, okay, well, you can go to this place, but if you're shit, you're gonna wreck your boat, and it's yeah. like you're gonna have Pay to like break through all of this yeah. horrible terrain. I want, I want it to be like, like you like to get to these like tier ninety islands is genuinely part of the skill. Terrifying. Like it's difficult. It's kind of like sepulcher. So you're moving your boat, and you could just like. You could sail the sea for two hours if you want and not go to an island. And you could run into another, like an NPC pirate ship that's like this massive battle of 10 minutes of you like boarding their boat, them board your boat. You're like shooting cans at each other, whatever that case is. You could, you could hire, hire NPCs for your boat and pay them like a butler in your house where they man the, they man the rudder and they man the this and that. So you can choose out of a, out of a boat you've got what you've got the navigation you've got the you know let's say there's a rudder there's a sail there's a um you know there's steering there's you know oh. actual like paddles <laughs> so you could choose which of those like things that you actually do but then the npcs do the rest so you can pick like okay i really enjoy navigating so i'll do the navigation and i'll get the npcs to do the rest whatever the case is um yeah that you could sail around and just get xp for taking down a new kraken boss that's got like upgrades to whatever um or whatever the case is but like to go to an island, it wouldn't be like, okay, I'm going to this island, click, and then your boat goes there. It's literally you leave the port and just wherever you navigate that boat by however it is, moving it, WASD, whatever you want. Um, should be point click. Just like, you know, should be point and click. It should be point like click, 100%. 100%. Yeah, a lot of point and click. That's before. the thing. You see a rock up ahead, you're like, oh crap. So you would click to the left to get your boat to start yeah. moving left to get it's around like it. And then, like, yeah, yeah exactly. There's some like, like charge involved. people for coming on your boat. So you just sit in there, just waiting. Yeah, you can do like co op. And you just yeah. kind of take them 100%. out to like harum I would love, I would love that. Like, people, like, co-op, I also right. think since it's a new skill to RuneScape, it should be optional. Like, if people want to go to the tier 90 island and just explore it, but don't have the level or don't want to train it, they can just hop on someone else's boat and go with them and they maybe they pay you like they that, there could be a whole economy around that where people are standing at the port saying you know selling tier 90 <laughs> exploration going to island number two three I whatever the, the god ash boat exactly like 100 success rate there'd be discords oh, made about the it there'd be everything yeah, yeah man it would be so sick tier 90 boat service <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Um, okay, so some of the rewards when you go to these islands, some low-level rewards would be like a new, you know, an island where it's not very big and there's just like a ton of sand crabs or something like that. Maybe they have like upgraded drops, but they're still just like AF cable. Yeah, ten um, percent. It could be or something. any clue scrolls that are dropped on an island that you've sailed to. The clues are only on that island, so it might be five steps, and it's a regular hard clue loot, but it's faster to do because it's all on the same island. Something like that could be cool. Um, when you complete like a raid or, or like, you know, you find the final whatever it is in, uh, in one of these islands, like the rewards isn't going to be like Twisted Boat 2 or like Scythe 2. Like yeah. there could be some cool stuff like that. But oh it could gosh. be like an unbelievable upgrade to your boat. Like the, the best cannon that you can get or the best navigation system or like whatever the case is. You could unlock, you could just like open a chest that's purple and it's just got schematics however you say that, like a rigor scroll teaches you how to use rigor, 
this could teach you how to like make this special item for your boat. Um, I think that would be where the rewards kind of can lie. Um, a bunch of new AFK skill training methods, like for prayer, thieving, agility, farming. AFK farming, I know that skill is like really weird how you can train it already. Um, AFK farm, like, so it's, again, you balance it. It's around, you know, this is, if you want to train fire making and you don't want to sail, then just train fire making. If you want to train it in this new AFK way, well, this island here at level 40 sailing, you can go there and you can train your fire making AFK. Um, yeah. A new AFK herb gathering or herb, however you want to say it. So you could go and like you could plant in this giant patch that has like 10 raner seeds go into it. And when you harvest it, you can harvest like 200 raners or 100 raners just in a row. So you just click it once, you AFK. But if there's anything planted there, you can't use the other patches in the game. So you can't just like get a ton of herbs. Like it doesn't break the meta. Oh. It just takes longer to do the run. One one quick tidbit about your uh you know your whole AFK stuff so yeah uh, you know I want to bring I want to bring back the whole idea of player owned ports right because obviously player owned ports I, I think inevitably would be used as kind of like a framework for a skill like this because uh, I mean it it was fun for sorry it was fun for what it offered and it was like simple right because like you know like I don't think a lot of people want to train the skill by actively clicking the whole time right obviously so I was thinking the player own ports idea of how they i don't know if you ever done it have you ever done it uh it's like so you would like you know uh, set up your crew uh set up your ships like you know different builds and then you would pick like a mission to go on right and then it'll give you like a success rate chance the rewards the pers uh the the time it would take i feel like that would be a good way to supplement the afk part of it and obviously if you want you know obviously the active ways of doing it should be like theoretically the best way to do it right fastest xp yep. i mean it's like the fastest yep. way to do it not necessarily the best but like if people want afk they can probably do something like that where you know they can the, you know, pre, pre, AFK, preset right? their stuff and send it to a journey right like what if um you could have your own island right at a, at a certain level of, of sailing you're on an island and then on top oh. of the island you could build a house with a construction level right so you just put your house yeah. on your island and you get fish there you get afk grind there you have your trees um maybe even clan owned islands dude yeah, yeah. maybe so yeah, one of sure. the one of the ideas here for one of the tiers of islands is like let's say level 75 sailing you open up the sailing like guild like you know it's a guild that's it's specifically like an an entire yeah. island Boy, that just revolves guild. around sailing and that's where you can go to hire your crew Demon. otherwise you can't hire it until you're that level um where you can that's where you store your boat and it's you know it's closer to a bank or whatever until that point you're using you know it's like it's not as easy to train or whatever the case is but yeah 100 percent. that's like you'd have your own player owned sort of island where it's that's where everything around your boat goes um i think that'd be 100 a cool idea. My island would be so much bigger than rakesy's island by the way <laughs> way bigger i'm sorry guys but <laughs> it, it, it's, always, it's not always about the size man it is it is for this the efficiency is, <laughs> dude my, my island's gonna be on top of like the most expensive real estate in game it's it's literally gonna, gonna be, be next to epstein's mine. island bro mine's gonna be golden all right <laughs> <laughs> yeah dude. that'd be a cool what if, yeah, what if, uh, island, yeah you can take all of these rewards that you find while you're sailing and you like put them on display on your island like yeah. there's a little spot where you like can a put second these, like a second it's like a visual like a visual collection log so yeah. like well, like yeah this guy's beaten everything and he's gotten the you know the one in a thousand he's he's raided this island a thousand times he's done the dungeon on this island a thousand times where it could be it's dungeoneering but it's all underwater and you have to like use the schematics that you found to get a good enough you know underground water tank or whatever it is so that you can live long enough. i don't know again this is like that's what i'm saying it's such a big potential such a big update that it's like we could go on for days yeah. with ideas for it where I honestly don't care if they take two years to make this skill. When it comes out, it has to just be like an absolute bang and skill. Like so it can't many be, things to do. It yeah. can't be as small as warding. I was so narrow minded. I was actually pissed that they pulled it and they kind of ruined. I didn't. I voted no, hundred percent. I was like, mm -hmm. yeah, it fits. But who's interested? And why? I... Is, what's the difference between this and putting it into crafting already as like yeah. another tab in the crafting yeah. skill guide? Well, I, I think they kind of did that anyways. I remember they had like. Uh, the blood bark and the swamp bark armors yeah. that were on there, and yeah. they've just put them into the game anyways. Well, yeah, exactly. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we like Water this idea. Yeah, one hundred percent. Like before, 
but yeah before people like think that i'm super advocating for a new skill i just want this update to come in i don't mind if it's a mini game or a skill or a raid or a skilling raid or like you know like it just be it unlocks a ton of a ton of cool stuff to do and like all of this new content like where does it come from like it's just a big runescape expansion in general like um they would add water on both sides of the map you could sail around the water look for a an interaction like a pokemon you know all of a sudden you found a, a, an npc or whatever it is it starts something like that um but yeah okay the best there yeah, could the be a, a set of islands is... oh sorry keep going bro yeah yeah there could be a set of islands so say you get to level 80 you've now unlocked the archaeology islands and that's like that whole archaeology skill pitch that's it's also in runescape 3 but that comes okay these three islands have or five islands have fossils on them, just like Fossil Island, and Fossil Island's one of them, where you go and you find all the fossils, and with that, you can build a new boss that's made out of bones, like a skeletal wyvern that you've built yourself. Like, just, like, kind of a cool idea with that. Um, yeah, they actually have that in R3. Yeah, they pulled, uh, the, or part of their original pull for sailing that I thought was really cool was gem dragons, where there's, like, sapphire dragons, Emerald, ruby, diamond, whatever. Yeah. Just, and then, just, of course, I... dragon, oh. dragons. Let's go. It's got to happen. Like, <laughs> red dragons. dragons. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, that'd be the go best all thing in. Go all in. I dude. just I just had like a nostalgic memory unlocked. Uh, yeah. Do you, remember, do you remember Pokemon Gold, Silver, and Crystal? You mean the best generation? Yeah. I remember that. Wow. Well, <laughs> if you remember playing those games back in the day. So, dude, it was, I love this. Imagine if they did this. So, you start off in like, you know, effectively like home like Lumbridge, like the hometown yep. and stuff. And then eventually, once you complete that entire area, you have to go back home, and there's the water there that you weren't able to surpass because it was, you know, you didn't have the swim. You didn't have any water Pokemon. And now you get to go cross. I don't know if you guys remember this, but you used to of go course. back to yeah, that, that's how it be. You that's how like, it be. You got to, like, the league and stuff like that. Wouldn't it be so cool if they made some of the highest level content, like, similar to that, where it's, like, it's where you start? But you just can't act as yeah, game. have you ever thought about Minimum what's across idea, the sea bro? of Lumbridge, you know? <laughs> yeah. idea where it's like you could see monuments from Lumbridge that would like kind of tease higher level stuff, yeah. you know? Like you I love see, when like, games do that. Like, yeah, not, yeah. yeah Pokemon definitely like did that. You know? mm -hmm. Pokemon did yeah, a lot really of that. Smart. Yeah. yeah. My, my idea for like, you know, you get in your boat and you're just moving around. There's no map. Like you're, you actually would, you would make the map where you could find a map on an island to like help you get back there. But like you don't know where these islands are; they're not on the world map because no one's mapped them yet. So you're, you're just going. There could be guides like, okay, how to get to this island on YouTube, and be like, okay, go straight for about a minute and a half, turn left slightly, go this way. You want to avoid the whirlpool, so you got to actually go all the way left and then back up. So like you find the island. If you're not a high enough level to dock at that island because you know there's too many rocks or there's this or that. Then it just like you wouldn't be able to dock there, and you'd have to head back home, or you'd have to go to an island that you can actually stop at and and get stuff. Like that was another kind of idea where it could be an instanced island, but I think it would be cooler if the islands weren't instanced, and it was just like the island is there, it's always there, and after you've been there once, twice, five times, you know how to you like you've memorized the route on how to actually get to it. Where it could be you're leaving from Port Serum and you're going through, you're going down. You come back around and it's like on the other side of Zaya or like whatever the case is. And then once you're there, there could be 10 other people on the island already. Um, and just, you know, there's all the dragons are taken, whatever, stuff like that. Whatever whatever the monsters are, whatever the content on there is. Yeah. I thought that would be like a cool way of like how it's actually trained. Originally, when they pulled sailing, it was that you would just sail to the same island every time, but it would be a randomly generated island. So it could be, I, I don't know how they were going to do that because they said they did that with Chambers. But there's like what 20 layouts or like 40 layouts so yeah with this it's like if every every 10 levels you unlock another set of islands like tier 80 islands tier 90 if they did five per set there'd only be 50 new islands and part of that could be okay you can sail to lunar island and that you know you just get the xp you have already been there it's nothing no big deal you can either sail to the island or you can pay the 30 coins to go to karanja and it's just like optional like if you want to sail you'll get some xp for it you want to get there quick Hey, or teleport there. Man, I just had an idea like raiding in my brain. Like I had an idea to like expand upon the idea of like skilling versus PVM raiding, or maybe even PVP yeah. raiding. So there could be like skilling islands where you go and you just chop down all the trees or whatever, and you get some XP, kind of yeah. AFK, whatever. 
And then PvP islands where you can either fight random mobs, which are high level, or even like defend your base. So say yeah. you plant you have an island and then you're getting attacked, you would get XP from defending it. Yeah. And when you dock on an island, your boat would have a respawn time. So when the respawn timer is done, you can't respawn anymore. And when everyone's wiped from the boat, you lose unless you wipe everyone else on the island. Like, yep. God, bro. Yeah. It, all this shit is making so much sense, skilling-wise, PVM-wise. It's incorporating other skills. They could have branches upon, like like I said, construction, different fishing spots. Mm-hmm. Fuck, man. I hope it comes into the game, honestly. Yeah, was... could be, yeah, there could be an island that's your, It's again, it's just a flat island that gets empty. And you build the island yourself. It's a construction-based island. Like, each set of islands is based around another skill. There could be an island or a group of three, four islands, and they're all hunter. Everything on these islands is to do with hunter. There's an island that's just swarming with implings. There's an island that's that's got these new hunter creatures. There's, you know, they've got herbivore where you get herbs from, from you know, whatever, by using hunter. Maybe there's, like, uh, an island where instead of getting herbs, you get logs. Like, just like a, you know, it's a mythical game. There could be a, a log dog yeah. that's running around that you're chasing. Bro, they, they, I spoiled the log dog. Yeah. Log dog. <laughs> the log they dog, can, let's go. They can have islands that are, like, toxic. And it's like, you go there, and you just slowly start to die. Start a timer. Exactly. Yeah, you I mean, start, you island, set foot on the island. Like, the higher, the higher level islands are going to be, like, extremely dangerous. Imagine one that's, like, sepulchre base but pk also so you're actually fighting against other people trying to survive so like people bring their dragon spears and they push you into like a hole or they you know they're ice barraging you as you're trying to be the first one to the finish line to grab a like it's just they could put this content somewhere else i just feel like by incorporating sailing and having all of these massive like really cool rewards new mini games skilling training methods clue scroll like expansion kind of thing i think it would just be so cool i think it would it would really kind of I think make it make it a worthwhile skill to add to the game they, yeah. they would have to make it so once you completed like whatever the content is so like if you're doing you know like a raid or something yep. like that you you'd have to get xp in the skill like it, it's yeah. it just makes sense because otherwise that's i right. think it would just be people just like moving around a bunch which you know yeah that's, ba- that's basically <laughs> to watch you know, <laughs> yeah, like it could be, it could be like uh, you just fishing you... Catherby, they're just zooming about. <laughs> oh, yeah, that'd be dumb. Yeah, I'm curious. Like, I, I so had an idea get... for flex, dude. All right, this skill could be the perfect thing for flex. So, boat wise, say once you get it past a certain tier, you can make like crazy expensive boats, like the mahogany boat or the pure gold boat. And all it would do is just take a shit ton of the item and yeah. delete it from the game. Like, say, like 100k gold bars, you get your whole boat gilded forever right unless it gets stomped yeah. or mahogany or steel oh my god runite I, had, uh, I mean we're talking melting supplies out of the game just for people to flex their shiny boat and you know they would i they're have uh, crowns for like what 250 mil in the elf area for some reason yeah right? got i have it written down here uh for one of those things like you would finish a raid and one of the items could be a new like a new mold to make a cannon that you you pour like gold into it maybe it takes Kind of like uh, that Giants Foundry mini game that I played three hours of and was like, okay, cool, that's enough for me. Um, <laughs> but yeah, like it could be something like that where you actually put effort and it takes like an hour to make something with the skilling with with smithing skill um, to make the, like the best cannon. So you find that you do this dungeon like dungeoneering that Rice Cup really loves and I also do. Um, you finish the dungeon and you, maybe it's a one in five hundred drop rate and it's like, holy crap, this guy just got the whatever mold. And now you use that mold to make the best in slot cannon. And now that cannon can be used in like, instead of hitting 80s on monsters, it hits 100 on monsters. So whenever you get stopped in the middle of the ocean by a giant kraken, you can kill it just that much quicker. Your experience go up. You can get to islands quicker, stuff like that. Like, yeah, it all just, it all ties back in. And like, it it just makes sense to me that this is how this skill would work. Dragon tipped yeah. cannonballs. Let's go. 100%. Yeah. Javelins. I mean, you can they, mount a bunch of heavy ballistas around your boat. Like, genuine idea that I wrote down. Like, that's the same. You, you could hire NPC archers from, that's like, you know, you go to an island and there's this clan of, like, tribesmen that are really good archers, and you could give them whatever bow you want. And so you're, you could be sinking T-bows on them. You could be sinking ballistas. You could, and like, they are just, like, whatever gear you give them, they now have that, and that's how much damage they deal when you're fighting off a monster. I was just... I was just thinking they could also make it so uh, like you have to have a certain level cannon in order to like access an island. 
And it made me think of like, imagine if there's like a volcanic island and it's almost like impossible to get to. It's completely like yeah. the whole thing is fortified. And it's like the only way to get into it is like you got to have a certain cannon or a certain level cannon in order to burst through it, and then you can explore. But yeah. I th- do you know what I said earlier? I said that like the wilderness expansion to this should be like a higher level, and I've changed my mind. I think that it should be level one. Like they need to it's make a new game, bro. They should make it so there's like if you. If you're a PKR, PKRs want to do one and only thing, and that's wilderness content. They want PvP in some way, shape, or form. If it's not that, they're not interested in it. That's fair. So mm-hmm. it's like, it would be so cool if, like, from level one, you were able to train this skill and have fun and just do the whole thing in a PvP zone. And, but make it optional. It has to be optional sure. because obviously yeah. it's going to annoy the other half of the player base. Mm-hmm. But, like, it, it would be so cool, man, if they were to do that. I, I want to hear your ideas about, like, a potential wilderness. Like the yeah. wilderness expansion for this, like ha- what what do you have written down? Above story? above the wilderness, you have a, like a small cluster of islands. Maybe there's three of them that are smaller, like um, I don't know the size of of the wizard's tower. Like that's like what a hundred tiles. Like it's not very big, but on there there could be that's just like a place to fight or something. And then an island beside it is much bigger, and it's got you know a ton of different caves that are worth money, like rev caves. Um, a silly idea that someone had that I thought was pretty cool. Barrows 2 kind of esque thing where it's like this island has six crypts and each crypt is a PvP armor that you can only use in the PvP because they keep trying to pass that through some way. Um, mm. But yeah, it could be like you can only get this armor in the wilderness, you can only use it in the wilderness. Um, and that island would be like a hot spot for people to go out um, and PK on. But yeah, like you, the only way to get off these islands is to get on your boat and get back to shore and then you can teleport. So yeah, I was the thinking PKR. of an island. It just kind of there's only a little bit. Like it, you only get there through the boat, but there's just yeah. a tid, like maybe one or two squares thirty wild. So you either go yeah. over there to tank, you get tele blocked, you're fucked. Yeah. Or, you, or you leave my boat. It's just one <laughs> or two squares thirty wild, bro. I've always, dude, like the mage bank where the water line is. I yeah. don't I don't know if people know this or pay oh, that yeah. much attention to it, but it's like directly outside mage bank. It's like you're at the ocean. I've, I've always been... wondered. I've always wondered, like, what's out there? What's on the other side? Mm-hmm. It'd be so, it'd be so cool if they had like a a dock there as well. Like, they could actually do that. It could be easy access to deep wilderness sailing, but you have to go through the wilderness to get to it. Like, that'd be cool. Like, there's a little pirate. Cool. There's a little pirate hut, and then there's that boat. And I'm pretty sure I don't know. There's a dock, but it looks like a dock around there, dude. So they could play off that as well. Bro, they, they could, there. they could have it. So like, there's like a big lore with the wilderness where it's like. It, it's where the god wars took place if anybody doesn't know so like that's why it's so fucked up and it's like charcoal and it's burnt everywhere and it's just a battlefield like yeah. they could make it so there's like an island of like souls and it's like in order to go to this island like you've got to be able to craft and have a special kind of ship which is like a soulless ship or some shit and it's Fire like center. some haunted, haunted ship that you have to like get in some crazy way and then you yeah. access this place and there's like all of these like reefs and is it reef? What they call yeah. it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. They got, dude, they could have like soulless dragon. Like they could have all sorts there. It could, it could be super cool. Yeah, I um I had written down what so like when you open, let's say, let me open it. I got my uh, my game open here. Crafting, you've got weaving is one thing, armor is another, spinning is another, pottery is another. So I've written out like what would those look like for sailing? First one would be like islands, as we discussed, where it's like at level 10, you can go to these ones. At level 20, you can go to these. Um, the next one would be, like, ship types. So at level 1, you're making a one-by-one little Minecraft boat, and that's it. Like, if you wanted, like, you would just need four logs in your inventory, a hammer, a saw, maybe some nails. So you could, like, okay, I'm going to get to this little spot. You just build the boat, put it in the water, and you can go across at, like, let's say three tiles per tick instead of two if you were to sprint there. Um, next up would be like a canoe so we already have that you know canoeing system that's just that one little stretch from lumbridge to uh, the wilderness um level 20 you could do like a longer canoe so it'd be like a one by three kind of size boat um level 30 would be a two by three boat which is a mini sailboat level 40 (laughs) is a two a two by six long sailboat and then we get into the good ones where it's at level 50 you've got like a three by ten viking sailboat and that's the size of the boat from Dragon Slayer. I actually measured it out because I'm a nerd. 
Uh, level 60. Uh, uh, level 60 would be like a Viking sailboat double decker. Where, um, so yeah, you've got it's a three by ten. So you can put yeah, you can kind of picture the size of that. Um, but like you know, at level 50, your boat has these sort of stats. Like there'd be what four different five different stats that each boat has, where it's like speed durability yeah uh, you know all these different player own ports they had they had all that so you could yeah and you could kind of manipulate so you could do so the next tab uh you know it goes up to having like a pirate ship or like a you know like a massive boat at level nine or whatever it is exactly uh Mm -hmm. the next tab would be like ship materials so you'd be like level five you can make it out of oak logs you know level 15 is willow level 25 is teak it goes all the way up to redwoods at 85 and then the new tier, which again would be an island where there's a new tier of log that you can chop at level 95, and that's like the best tier for your boat or whatever the case is. Wait, what's the log called, bro? Get, what's, what's the name? Uh, Rakesy log. <laughs> the, the ash logs. <laughs> there you go. I always use this food chop, a lot ash. The, the yeah. minty rakes cup log. Yeah. Um, <laughs> no, no, no. Get, yeah, get the mod ash log. Yeah, the island, I was going to talk about Yeah. A lo- island Hit that it. has rice, finally. For the first oh, time oh, ever. This is, this is so cool, man. Right, I'm just building like, uh, right now. So yeah, it's like you got you got an island that you can only access if you have the soul boat. And how about yeah. like in order to access it, we were talking about like CG or dungeoneering encounters. Yeah. Yes. Like I, I think one of the things that RuneScape players often do is it's like, oh the reward has to be monetary. Great, or yeah. Well if the what if the reward is like progression? It's like, okay, well, there's a chance Sure, you'll get money, but there's a chance that you could get one of these like soul drops or something like an yeah. orb, the orb of something like the soul, and then you need like a bunch of them to be able to craft like the the high tier boat that can only mm-hmm. access a certain place and stuff. I think the the coolest would just be like, you know, you complete this dungeon and it's a one in five hundred, like like a Tebow drop rate that gives you like a map. That lets you get to the uh, this one island that no one else can get to unless you have Ooh, this. Oh, yo, treasure maps. That should be one exactly. of the. That should be like a, a theme, a recurring theme with the the voyage scale. You know, is that you you get all these different kinds of treasure maps and then, you know, you get there, you, you get the reward. It's like sick. 100%. Instead I mean, of just opening was... a chest, you know, purple. Oh my god, purple. It's like. I, I feel like <laughs> at this point, right? It's like so we've like we've got free raids right now. Okay, it's like we've got Cox raids, which is kind of like swamp maybe yep. desert or swamp i'd say and then we obviously have the desert which is same bro we same vampire <laughs> I, I feel like the uh... next optimal raid and obvious is like an underwater raid or a water raid and th- this could be the key to that it's like it doesn't need to be worked on at the same time yeah though. they like, could hint at like an entrance you know yeah. and then just leave it like, there just leave the entrance they could there. expand they could add the yeah. skill as like a like an, in its infancy and whenever they add new content add a new add a new uh a new island that you can get to or you know like that's the thing it would be like date day and you go and you're like okay i don't know where this island is and literally you're just scouring the ocean trying to find the island and you find it and you're like oh crap how did i get there again you're trying to remember because like there's not you can't just like click on the where you want to go like a charter boat and just end up there it would be um something you have to remember you have like uh, you know, you you draw the map in game as you do it, or you have an NPC draw it for you while you do it. something. But like, uh, I, like I mean, that. at some point it should be easy to access. But like the discovery. That's what I'm wondering. Like, you you would be on the island. You know, say level uh, level thirty island. It's easy. You just chop a couple of trees, and like one of the trees drops a nest, and that nest has like a tablet that lets you teleport back there. Like, um, yeah, hundred yeah, percent. Yeah, like, yeah. Eventually. It should be a you know, if there's a raid on an island, you shouldn't have to constantly boat for 20 minutes to get there and yeah, i also don't yeah. know what the right amount of time for actually boating is like is it three minutes is it 10 is it 30 i don't um, think it's yeah they, you they, could spend a week on an island if there was a bank on there like you could just go to this yeah, island yeah. and just not leave i think i think they'd have to do that i think that would make sense because people like accessibility i think yeah. if you lock content that people want to do behind that it's annoying but they could they could kind of tie it into like okay so anybody can get there but you just need to have like a lowish requirement or like you know it's easy to jump onto a boat that it takes you i i don't know it, it'd yeah, be right something back. like that so if but you were to if you were to go to an island and build like a bank and a settlement and a whole economy on this island like your your boat you've got 20 inventory spots and your boat has 
you know, different level of hull or like a like a storage unit on it. I say, okay, if I make a redwood storage box, then I can store these items. And it's like, okay, it's got 48 inventory slots, whereas magic level, you know, like magic logs would only be like 40 slots. So then when you go to the island, you're bringing all these supplies to build a bank. And you've got access to a bank because you built it there. Sorry, Ultimate Iron Man, you can't play this game anymore. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, I think uh, there's just so many, so many ideas with it. For the ship materials, also there'd be you know the logs, the nails would be anything from bronze to rune. I also think they should add dragon nails. Um, dragon nails. Words. Um, there'd be like some cloth that you can use at like level one, like basic cloth or silk to like make some sails you for your boat. But then as you're like level 25 or 45, you unlock this new type of cloth. And that cloth is found on these low level islands. Like there's a new, they talked about silk moths that you can hunt. Uh, I can't remember where they talked about that, but you'd, you'd capture, capture these and you'd Bro, use make... like farming slash hunter to gather the, the silk to make some new sails that are Taking like notes, a little oh, bit faster. I was going to make an inappropriate joke about maybe making it so it's like, Sill hides, and then I thought that's disgusting. Yeah, well, you made but, a joke anyways. So. I make good boots. <laughs> <laughs> True. I was just. By the way, I just wrote in the chat why this needs to be the new skill. I'm thinking yeah. that could be the title. For yeah, this yeah. Um, and I like it because it, here's the thing: we cannot title this podcast "Why Sailing" yeah. needs to yeah. be the new skill because I literally, like, yeah. seventy percent of the people that already hate the idea of sailing are going to be like, mm. "Fuck." But the thing that I really yeah. like about this nah, is bro, the... voyaging, bro. Yeah. Fuck sailing. Voyaging. Yeah. Or, or, about or voyaging, ex... now. or exploration. Exploration. Yeah, I think we leave yeah. it open. I know. I feel like exploration is more like also land, though. So... I do you're, think, you're like... Doing you're doing both. Fundamentally, yeah, but like, you're though, sailing more than you're necessarily, bro, you know... What about if you can, like, train a fucking bird or some shit where it's... Birding! Like, it, can, like, it can go out and it gives you further fish from, like, where the islands are. It's like you can send, like, a crow... Very like cool. it upgrades to a fucking power. That I feel like that's like a power creep thing later on down <laughs> I think the line. A crow's better yeah, than 100%, that's, that's a future update. <laughs> yeah, that's more of a power creep great. update. Because then so you, you could be voting mm. around. You send the owl in this one direction, and then all of a sudden you get a chat easy. message like like you've been followed by a pet, but it's like your your owl found something like super important, and you'd be like, oh, hey, just dive right over there. Your owl it, it would be like, doesn't it would be return. Like, send, yeah. be like, sell your yeah, and that would mean that it hit land. That it's means Mid Mad Cow grabbed the owl out of midair, like a little peak hair that he is, Bad and hair, just dude. and just he's just ragging you by killing your owl. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, bro, yeah. I totally kill Rachel's owl. <laughs> I, dude, the thing is, like, I think all of this sounds great. I really like the idea of it. I like the fact that it's combining so many previous ideas and pieces of content that people have been asking for for so long. I think that's great. Um, it's just a question of: Do you think that Jagex would really be willing to invest? thousands of hours in yeah, developing dude. something like this this yeah. is this will drive players away from the game if they release a skill that's garbage like if they um, release a skill that's fletching two or crafting two it's like wait 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 let's not put like, that fletching two okay fletching two sounds pretty, on, pretty exciting guys. but like <laughs> like they need to they need to have this be a home run like something that no one's ever seen before it's not a copy paste from runescape 3 it's not something that somebody's cooked up in a couple of hours and made a reddit post about like it needs to be so big that they're hiring new developers who are spending a year and a half on it yeah like i honestly think they should like the leagues that they've put out so far the only people they put on that and they worked on those for six months and like for toa they had like a whole like team spend a year of their lives building it like that should be this it should be all hands on deck pardon the pun to uh to get right. this to get this to be like the perfect biggest no, like nothing will ever come close to it in size of, in terms of size again it just needs to be massive just like people are booking off a month of work they're quitting their jobs because they know sailing's coming out yeah yeah it, it needs to make a big to... ripple amongst the gaming field right yeah. so the better this is the cooler it is the more in depth right the more views it gets on youtube that it just will have this Absolutely. nice ripple effect from to every mmo what? maybe even other games what they like, should do about the new RuneScape what, skill? Yeah. yeah. What should they, what they should do is I mean because they're doing the step by step approach of making a new skill. They obviously don't need, need to release the bulk of it right away necessarily, yeah. but they like at least for the beta, they need to make it really good to the yeah. point that people are like, "All right, there's just a lot to do. There's a lot of things to learn." Cuz like, you know, it has to be engaging. It has to be mysterious, right? There's got to be a lot of like 
discovery elements to it right like people like unlocking or discovering new ways to do it or unlocking new secrets with the skill that kind of stuff it has to have contained those you know you can't just be like all right i read this i understand how it works let's do it you know it can't be like mm -hmm. that it, it, it'll be very boring like the beta's gotta at least have a, a solid amount of actual content and mystery to it that you're like you know you're like okay man i like i spent 10 hours and i still don't like know everything yet but it's fun so um i think we should bring it out bring it out bro. i think if anything there could be there could be two maybe three betas like they have the ability to make a beta and they have the ability to pull things multiple times i don't know why they don't do it more often like they don't pull how items look in game and then they get backlash and after it's like when they do pull things like how do you want this to look it looks great they usually just use twitter what they want. like <laughs> Yeah. No offense to anybody who likes the Osmonton's Fang. That thing was like garbage. The broken Addy Longsword. And like, Wait, why don't they bro, pull that beforehand? Like that thing, dude. <laughs> that shit is. The upgraded okay. version sick. They should have had the upgrade version as the base version. Yeah. And then like the you know if there's a kit. Yeah, the, the, the ornament kit looks way yeah. better though. For you could yeah. upgrade. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. It's yeah, cosmetic. It's a cosmetic. I think it looks it's a isn't it no. based on like the dagger that killed like Romian Caesar or whatever the dude from? Yeah. You know, I don't think so, but no, <laughs> I'm, a, I'm a very I vocal. Like I'm a very vocal hater of the uh, Os the Osmondson's fame. Like you oh, look at the yeah, scythe, you look yeah. at the Tebow, and you look at this thing. You're like, what is that? Like it's. But, but, yeah. but, but, but you're comparing it to two end game items. It's supposed Literally, to be. Able, you know, fame you know. is <laughs> is the best item in the game now. That, you know, before it, they nerfed yeah. it too, but it's like it's just used everywhere. Like, if anybody yeah. has 200 mil bank, which is actually a lot of people now, we're kind of in this new cycle where there's yeah. a lot of people in that sort of stage of the game. Like, that's all they're buying. They'll use that instead of a lance. Yeah. They'll use that instead of a scythe. They'll use that instead of, like, people buy a Bofa and they buy a Fang for 300, 400 mil, whatever it is, and that's all they need. The, the yeah. next upgrade is when they've got 4 yeah. mil and they can a buy bit, a Tebow. Yeah, a bit off stuff. topic. I was, I was never really a fan of, like, gigantic size items that they have. Like, yeah. I, I feel like the things... Board. I feel like, yeah, well, like, the things that, like, when you go on the equip screen, that shit goes straight through the roof, you know? Like, yeah, I, I hate the, like, I don't like the Sang staff. I don't even like the Owl one. Um, I like the, the I like staff? the way it looks, but I don't like how big they made it. It's, like, yeah. too Race big. Three staff, yeah, like yeah, that. no, honestly, I don't even like the size of the Race 3 staff. I think it should have been have smaller. Liked, I, I would have liked it been smaller. Wand. I would have liked, like, a really good wand. Like, I know yeah. they pulled the wand and stuff, and I know that's probably still coming from future content. Yeah, but, I like... Yeah, I if, don't that, mind... if that best in slot yeah. thing was, like, a like a really... Like, the same color scheme, the same little ornament on the top with the black yeah. and, like, the... Yeah. Like, that would have looked sick. Yeah, like, I, it's not, like, the look, know. right? It's not, like, the designs is bad. It's just the, the size of them is bad, you know? Yeah. It's ridiculous, you know, like trying right, to make someone a... Photoshop uh, a Sang staff that's half the size. For yeah, it. I have to do, I have to do that for thumbnails, you know, because like whenever I make thumbnails and I, I have to include those weapons, I'm like, what the <laughs> fuck? It's imp you can't fit it in there. Bro, I'll tell you you what literally got to cool. cut the staff in half and make the I... head smaller so, just to do it. It's like, it's, uh, nah, it's too I'm, much. It's too I'm big. I'm a really big fan. When the it off topic. To like yeah. wizards, yeah. magic, sorcerers, whatever. I, I'm more of an offhand kind of guy, man. I like like the book. Or like the orb or like some badass shit so imagine if they did like a transmog slash i don't know like an extra reward break that bitch in half you know where, where, where you yeah basically it will change the way it looks cosmetically so i it hate will come how like, big it is you'll, you'll hold it like as an orb and the other half is like a wand but yeah. it's automatically a two-handed thing you equip it as like a combo thing but it looks like it's like a wand and also an orb i think that'd be Cool yeah, I just hate this big, big size weapons. Like it's stupid. I think it's stupid. I, like it makes no sense. I've never had a, I've never had a problem with big size things. So I've I mean, like, the like <laughs> fucking like twice your height kind of shit. Right, like okay. I hate those, man. I, I don't like. I don't know why. <laughs> they do suck yeah. for thumbnails. I I agree. I agree. It's terrible. But I, I feel the like size that is we, terrible. We, we fall into probably like zero point one percent of the RuneScape population. So they're like, just, it's like think about it, right? A god sword. That shit looks big, but it doesn't freaking like go. You know, it's not a skyscraper. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> like, know, have right? you seen those like, TikToks of like we, the dudes eating a hot dog with his lady, and he cuts it in half? He goes, "What are you doing with my hot dog?" He goes, "That's a that's a pretty big hot dog. Yeah. This <laughs> one is." <laughs> you know that one has a personality and i'm just thinking rice this whole time bro yeah. no I'm, I'm just saying like a god sword's big but it doesn't 
like it doesn't feel atrocious you know make a god sword yeah. okay with sailing there's an island that's god wars 2 and it's just <laughs> it doubles it doubles, <laughs> it doubles the size of the god sword it doubles so it's up. just a god sword spear it's a god yeah. spear <laughs> Exactly, <laughs> just super tall. Uh, oh, um, yeah. we, we need a gold spear. I hate that. I, I feel I feel like that's something that is missing from the game is like yeah. an epic spear. We don't yeah. have an epic spear, do we? We got Zami spear. That's I want I a, spear. a spear. So think of it like a god sword, but it's like a right. god spear, where you can use it as melee, but you can also throw it as, as range. And then you, and you have like a one. Range. You have like a one in a hundred thousand <laughs> chance that you lose it. So Dude, it's like. <laughs> People lose it on throw number one, and people lose it on throw number a million, and there's like people complaining on Reddit, and I that thought that'd be great. I'm like gonna add that to like everything in the game. So if you're just walking, <laughs> that there's so a one fun. in no, ten million. There's a one in ten million chance that you just trip and die. Like, <laughs> just like hardcore Iron Man just dropping left and right. I would never. Like, like, I, I think a chance that... when you cross the tightrope in chambers that you fall <laughs> off and it just ends die. the raid. Dude, I think uh, that the spear concept for the next like really best in slot on par with the T Bone Scythe and also the Tumakin Shadow actually works really well because they could tie that into being a sea slash water raid. And you know, who's the king of the fucking ocean, boys? It's Poseidon. Right. So it's gonna be some sort of trident, but it's a melee trident. And guess what? <clears throat> that thing's pointy. It's a stab weapon. It's gonna be the best in slot two hand spear. And you just fuck shit up, man. Yeah, that what, would be yeah. that would be cool. Anyways, so one of the on. one of the like raid sort of like raid uh, ideas would be like an island that is basically just a volcano, and there's a dragon guarding it. That's like, uh, you know, it could be Queen Black Dragon. I don't know. Just saying, Elvard two, Dragon Slayer three. Um, anyways, this one dragon is just guarding this volcano. That before you can even get on the island, you need to kill the dragon. You know, make it fly away, whatever you want to do. Um, but yeah, you're you're using your boat. You're like circling the island, shooting cannons at it, shooting javelins, Tivo, whatever it is. And then finally, you can you know maybe get on the island and start killing it with melee from whatever. Yeah, like that would be a cool way of intertwining. Like you could have combat using boats. Like you could have a mini game, or it's just what it is in the wilderness, where you can just fight other people's boats. You could have a mini game where you just race boats. You'd have a mini game, like, you know, it's like, okay, I'm, I'm level 50, I can now do the, it's like Winter Todd, but for sailing, and it's just racing boats, and you get a bit of XP yeah. for it, and like, if you want to train it that way, you can train it that way. If you want to train it by just do, going in circles in the ocean, you can do that. If you want to train it by going to a dungeon on this, like, tier 80 island, completing the dungeon, at the end of the dungeon, you get a 20k sailing XP drop, plus a purple or whatever it is, like, yeah, there should be just, like, different ways of training it, for sure. Uh, Rakesy didn't like that idea. He's gone. He's gonna go sniff some more. He's gonna go switch his socks. Yeah. He's gonna be too stinky now. The hole in oh, one boy. is cold. Um. Um. I yeah. also wrote down. Yeah. Sorry. I'll, you know what? Before finish that thought, Rakesy. If I keep jumping on. Oh no no no! I I just think the the PVP stuff is more of you know mint specialty. So I let him have the floor on that. You know. Yeah. yeah. What would you What would you be interested in? Like, how would you see PKing kind of working with sailing? If it was to be called sailing, I like I like Tom's idea, right? My, I mean, not even talking about the islands or the wilderness, but just like the bigger your boat is, the slower it goes. So you can yeah. fit a bunch of people on it, but if you get near that boat, kind of like those like games where you eat the small little thing, you become bigger but slower. You just get demolished. Where if you want to have like maybe a three or five man clan that's pretty speedy, yeah, you know, it could also be a nice tier type of content. So I, I don't know how that would really fit in with the wilderness or how they would fight each other but i like the basis that that's the foundation of where it starts and then they get yep. added on like multi or single combat or whatever is going on there well you, like you know those movies foundation. right you know those movies where like you know like fucking um pirates of caribbean whatever right. right like you know how like in the wilderness uh there's pvp you could be sailing towards like a really crazy place with lots of riches and then like people could have the option to plunder you you know, on their boats, yeah. right? That's I think they should be able to. Right? They should be able to jump on board, and, and your two boats kind of get like yeah, then you they get locked together. Both boats aren't moving, and yeah, you're like you can you can shoot them from your boat. You can use the cannons. Maybe you've, again, you've hired NPCs that they're just running the cannon. 
you know, they don't do it as good as like a human could do it if they were tick perfect, but it's, you know, still good enough. And hey, then hey, you, could, bro. you could jump onto their boat. You could, you could ice barrage them from your boat. You yeah. could drag and spear them off the boat into the water. You could, you know, that'd be pretty fun. Yeah, you know, and, and you know, what's crazy, right? right? The, the two like captains, they, they fucking can go to each other's boats, right? And just fight yeah. each other. And it's real person, right? It'll be like, it's a just, real P, person. it's just PK. Yeah. yeah. And then it's I a was, real I person. That'd be great. <laughs> I was thinking, like, if you destroy the boat, you get a boat key, right? You know, like PvP keys are just a key above your boat. Yeah, right? it's just so much boat loot key. that you need yeah. to dock somewhere safely to loot it, right? Yeah. But yeah. They just make it so you take their boat. Take their boat, but you got to tow their boat, which makes you slow <laughs> as hell. So it makes you a big target to anybody else. Yeah. Uh, I was yeah. thinking, um, yeah. one thing that I had noted, and this was like five minutes ago, I was going to, I was going to say it, so we kind of organically, organically, uh, got into it was just like boat insurance straight up like you can pay <laughs> yeah. based on the value of your boat you the can boat insure guts. it for like four mil and it's like if you were to die on an island or you you know you die in the middle of the ocean you don't lose your boat but you could choose to not insure it because it's a lot of cash and you could yeah you for could like go the out. high level players you, yeah, you're like, like okay i'm going to this island i don't know how to get to this island yet and i'm probably going to die and i'm probably going to fail so i'm just going to make like a quick little red little redwood boat that's going to get me there quickly and I can just keep practicing. And then eventually I'll bring my, my nice boat that's got insurance on it. And like, I don't, you know, I won't lose anything. Maybe it's like, they can take everything out of your storage unit on the boat, which is like, I feel your like, bank, I feel like, but the, they can't the, take the boat. I don't know. I feel like the idea of that, that's are a little too punishing early on. So maybe just don't worry about it, you know, in the early yeah. stages, maybe like when you reach like 70, 60, you know, 60, 70 plus, that's when yeah. like, people you know if you want to train it further hey guess what it's like construction right if you want to get those levels guess what you need that money and that's yeah. i feel like probably what when insurance and things like that i'm thinking uh i'm you thinking know, like, every, gotta, like every island squeeze it in later on right every like, island you yeah. go to you kind of have like you know sailing like what do you want to call it like uh yeah you've got you've got gold but like zelda scales like something like every island like oh i just got like you know 200 zelda scales from this island but it's not zelda scales it's something that like you pay to hire people on your boat. You pay to, oh, to do this, to do that. Yeah, that's player on ports. That's right. That's they, what they you, could... that should be the bulk of the XP because obviously, you know, there's got to be some sort of passive way to do do some of this repetition. You, like, you can't go to every single island like 50 times, 100 times, 1,000 times, you know? It'll, yeah, it'll get bro, stale could, for sure. They could make it so there's like, um, like a completionist slash uh, like a reason to explore where each island has like a uh, like a percentage where it's like okay here's you know all of the things that you can do it's like you've discovered this point in the island you found this place you went to the tallest spot or whatever it's like once you've checked everything off uh, that could include like completing the content on that island whether it's like killing monsters etc or if there's like a task or something like you could go to an island it's like oh shit there's an npc which is like <clears throat> my island over ran with skeletons oh. or something and it's like yeah. kill them and once you've completed everything on the island and like a hundred percent of it, maybe you get like a like a reward for that. Like perhaps it'd be like little diaries. Like yeah, it could be like a diary. Like that. That's what you're probably talking about. You know, sailing diaries or something. Yeah, or voyage or like, diaries, or like, rewards. Kind, kind Just a of whole like, new and a whole new spot on the collection log. Like yeah, yeah. <laughs> kind, kind, <laughs> of, got... but not, kind of but not really. But like in a, in a sense where it's like you complete everything that's to do on the island, including. You've gone to every single part of it, and like obviously not every tile, but like you've checked off the whole spot, and then it's like okay, this island's like greened off, ticked off. You get uh, an XP lamp or bonus XP for doing that as well. You know, something, thinking kind of like, like, like that idea, but you have the option to either like farm it for resources and you get like XP and resources, or you just burn it to the ground, like just a raid destruction, just fire making XP. You know, yeah. something oh, like that. Yeah, I want to do what you want. Burn the island down. I, yeah. I'm thinking. I'm thinking from a. I don't know. You guys probably haven't ever played Guild Wars Two, but in Try Guild it. Wars Two, Guild. Some of the mechanics in Guild Wars Two are really well thought out. So, firstly, if you kill mobs, uh, like, and this this applies to anywhere. It doesn't matter on the level, but if you kill mobs that haven't been killed in a long time, you get bonus XP. And in some cases, it's really like nice. Anywhere? Because in, yeah, anywhere, even starter That's zones. Cool. It can encourage you to go back and go to different places all of the time, which is nice. And also on that game, you would like unlock like checkpoints on the map. And then like one of the big things in Guild Wars 2 is like you want to basically get every single piece of content completed. 
and it's like then you get like a load of points for doing so or right. like XP mm-hmm. for us something yeah. along those lines I think that'd be cool. so flump i want to expand on kind of like incentives to go on a, a sailing journey right because like obviously you know we're going to talk about the afk part where you know you, you you send your ship out for reasons like rewards and resources and you get xp but also um there should be something there's actually two parts to it right there should be like a thing where you know like at, at, at in in the mainland right there should be like some sort of place where you you're introduced to the idea of sailing or ex- foraging right and then there's going to be like a bunch of these guys that maybe want certain resources from certain islands right mm-hmm. and then like it, it, like different days or different weeks different sets of npcs needs different things right and and those could be incentives for you to kind of repeat certain voyages right yeah so that yeah, so that so way like, it's not the same all the time it's just like oh okay he wants this one sure. a I, or b or c you know right things like that i think Another one i have i'm yeah. just gonna say real quick i'm looking yeah. at the runescape map real quick i think the obvious start for sailing where you're like introduced to it and it's like okay this is where you can jump on your boat would probably be in lumbridge next to the bridge they might have to do like some sort of port serum to be honest there. you know like or or well, or, or is, I, feel like, I feel like port serum yeah if you look at the if you look at the map that river going through lumbridge is it, it's the ocean it's pretty if you look, yeah. it, it, it's connected Can you imagine like, if you could put your boat in there a little one by one you just kind of chill with the so that's that's what i was saying like there might be times where you want to use a smaller boat where you build like a small a one by three redwood canoe so that you can get up through this like tiny passage so maybe there's an island that you get to the like you know the entrance of the island you you dock your massive pirate ship that's really good at fighting off like the kraken if you bumped into it or whatever and then you switch to a smaller boat so that you can maneuver all the way up the creek same thing yeah. with the actual mainland like if you wanted well, as a low level brand new iron man you want to get all the way to i don't know the champions guild or edgeville quickly you already have that canoe system, but it basically just they could replace it, or they could have it. So I don't know how they approach that, I, I, but yeah. the same thing. I you could have I, like a small a small boat that can make it through that. That's like yeah. more efficient than using the big boat. I, I think the reason it would make sense to be lumbers as well is I'm thinking of this from our last podcast with Mod Sween. Now this is going to be such a huge thing for Mod Sween and for the advertising team to like advertise. But like at the end of the day, it's like if you're trying to get new players into the game. And you say, oh, all you've got to do is head to Port Saren. Like, unless they're going to make it so there's like flashing blue or yellow arrows to that direction, it's like, it's a lot easier just to be like, oh, it's literally just outside. Like, you walk yeah. outside and then you can make yourself like a little boat or whatever, and then you can sail to Port Saren from there. And yeah. then that's where shit really gets started. And that could like be a tutorial almost, where that it's was, like you sail yeah. from Lumbridge to Port Saren as like, you know, there are actually arrows and hints and, like, this is the direction you need to go and, like, not let them go up to the wilderness or whatever, like... Yeah, I'm picturing, like, day one, there's a there's a quest, you do the quest and it gets you to, like, level five, three, whatever, and then from that quest, you, you now, in that, at the end or whatever it is, it teaches you how to, like, maneuver this little one-by-one boat and it shows you what you can do at higher levels. Yeah, um, also... Um, and, yeah. and then you just, you start going, you start setting sail, you go from the port to the to the island that you can literally see it's not far and then you you get there it teaches you how to do it, and then you come back and then the next island's a little further and then a little bigger and it has more stuff on it yeah i want to expand upon what i just what i said earlier about like you know the different ways to train right because um there are we already addressed the fk but but like there another thing that they could actively do is like you know obviously you got to incentivize people to go back to the same place many many times and actually go through the whole like you know memorizing the routes and stuff because i i definitely see potential in that because it could become a skill set in your head right that you can develop yep. and get better at memorizing the different routes but but the incentive should be uh actually more of a cargo delivery incentive right because that's what uh, you know sailing is a lot of the time it's trading right it's it's merchants buying supplies or like or grabbing supplies from one place and then delivering it to another and gaining a, a profit off of it right so there should be like immersion of like how much cargo your ship can carry what kind of cargo your ship can carry you know like th- those kind of incentives where you can build upon it and then you can use that as a way to you know streamline your training right by manually going through this like there's, there's the fk way to do it but it's gonna be nowhere near as good because you're gonna be there physically manning the ship and taking you know instead of your crew I think that should you're gonna be, be an doing option that. for sure I, I don't think that should be the main way but it should be like 
maybe it's a mini game. More... No, yeah. I, I think that should be. I think that should be like theoretically the fastest way, right, to get XP. Because like you are gonna put yourself and your time and your expertise yeah. to manually go back and forth to deliver and you know meet the trade the cargo makes, and things like that, right? It makes sense, but it so. also sounds boring. To be well, no, but I'm not saying that's the only way because you could obviously just go and go to the I, island and I, do the things in the island. I want to expand on your idea, right? Because right. it sounds cool. Yeah. I use the uh, situation where when Rexy usually starts out on any game, but he goes to the silk stalls and, <laughs> yeah. and he sells yeah. silk to somebody who's buying yeah. it for cheaper and then resells it, right? So maybe you're raiding an island and then, you know, Fopple said every boat has an inventory space, so you can't bring all the loot back, right? So you can't even hold this loot. It's so heavy. You have to have a boat. But there's a another boat like you said that can take all of this and buy it off you right and give you maybe a, a percentage discount of yeah. or something yeah something and then they have to transfer those goods but that is you like a do risk part, right yeah. you, have to, you have to hire protection from other boats right your your boat in general doesn't have any protection it's just for shipping things and it's like a whole i mean like yeah you, could, you could have a like venezuelan it. bot farm like they they just like they keep doing the same run they run to the island and then you sell the stuff to them, and they take it back for you. Or you could be like, PM your friend. You know, like when you're at God Wars, and you ask your friend to come bring you supplies? Same thing. Like, hey, can you come pick up this uh, redwood logs that I just chopped here? Like, you know, the, whatever the new supply, uh, the new log is, or the new whatever I just, it is. I just had an idea where... Yeah. <laughs> imagine if they were to add, like, uh, like weather into the game. So That'd it's be like, an obstacle. There's, there's a yeah. fucking storm out at sea right now. So it's like... Cause, cause here's the thing, like say high for example levels. these, if you go to deep the, waters, right? Yeah, yeah. And like say for example, like these islands like reset. Like I'm assuming like the island that I will sell to will be the same one that you guys sell to. It's not going to be an instant. So in that case, what if they were to do like resets? And it's yeah. like you know maybe part of that is like they make it so it's unsailable, or maybe they make it so it's like borderline extremely hard. Where it's yeah. like <laughs> you can go, but like you're gonna have a terrible time. And mm -hmm. you know you might wreck your ship if you do so. Like there, there is a lot of stuff they could do. Like there's so many For things. Sure. Like yeah. not even to mention like the the underwater expansion. Are, yeah. are there going to be submarines in this? Like are we, I are think, we I think there should be. The there should be a time. Have you there seen One Piece like a... where they put the like uh, the bubble on the ship, bro? You'll just yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's the... Nah, uh, yeah, nah I think that's got, later. Got, Maybe that's like a... a well, a well who like bur like puts a bubble around you. Like a yeah, magical dude. Well, and then you go into like a, a volcano with that too, be like a lava resistance one. Oh my god, that oh, bro. that might be a future update kind of thing, right? I feel well, like. And I feel like fishing would tie into this so well. Like obviously your your boat 100%. should be able to fish. Yeah, like, that could be yeah, a cargo. You, it could be the best the best way of fishing, or maybe there's this like you yeah. know you're you're in the middle of the ocean, and you see like the water around you is just fishing spots like everywhere, and you catch yeah. three sharks per tick, or you catch like. 10 manta rays per tick or like is, you upgrade your boat to be slower but it fishes you know more stuff on the way or maybe you just have yeah, like something i, that I mean think, think about fishing, it like well, the fishing trawler. but think about it well the cargo could literally be fish right because oh, you're you're literally going to the ocean so and yeah. you're, you know what i mean so like it could be a mission to get the best certain type kind, kind, uh, kind of fish certain kinds of wood that's unique to only those places right certain type of ore those kind of things, right? There's so many ways to play with, like a reason to go out there. I mean, the one, the other reason we've talked about a lot is just exploring new land. But I mean, a big part of sailing is in real life and in practicalness is actually getting rare resources that you you can't otherwise, and you go and extract it and you take it back. You know, things like that. Yeah, contracts, right? You you uh, just mentioned that'd be sick. Bro, yeah, that'd be sick. I was. I was literally just thinking that. Like, yeah. they could make it so you discover an island and there's, like, NPCs you can talk to. Some of them could be like, hey, if you deliver this cargo to me, I'll give you this amount of XP. Yeah, that's be, kind of what get, we were... If you go, yeah. if you go mm -hmm. catch these fish on the north of the island... Because, like, the thing is, like, I don't think the cargo idea is a bad one. I just think that, for me, it's uninteresting. So I'm saying it would be nice for there to be, like, loads of different ways to train the skill. And yeah, that's what I'm saying. That would be like, one of the core ways. Crazy. You know, imagine the be... PvP cargo, dude. Right, like, like you're attacking cargo <laughs> ships with your boat, but they have to pay bounties like to for people to protect them, dude. Right, there's you know like what I mean? like so uh, because know, you, know, you think about it, you have to understand it's a skill, right? So there's gonna be a lot of repetitive things that you have to do, and of course sailing 
uh, you have to make that aspect of sailing itself actually interesting, right? So if you can, you know, obviously do contracts or like, you know, business dealings and, and expanding on that, that could be a, a way to give you a reason to go to that one island 20, 50, 100 times, right? And like actually it's like make an agility it, lab. Yeah, and make it and make it feel different. Like instead of just running the same roof a hundred times and that's lit, like you can make it a little bit different, right? Like every time well, that's it would be a bit different. The, it would the, be, part, it would be, uh, yeah. the yeah. part where it's like um you know, you could the island's in the same spot every time. It could be instanced, maybe all the islands are not instanced. You like you know where the island is. You could go in a straight line and get there. But on the way there's going to be like random events basically that pop up and slow you down or um, you know, it's like an optional thing. Like, okay, you bumped into this crazy boss. Do you want to do something? Or like, yeah. oh, your, you know, your radar or whatever you have, like, there could be an upgrade that you find somewhere that now you've got this like special compass that points to like treasure. It's like, there's definitely treasure directly below you. Do you want to stop, put the anchor down, go underwater and, and explore this tiny dungeon to find what's there? Or do you want to keep going? So yeah, like if you were running yeah. basically like an agility mm -hmm. lap where you go, from home to the island, island back, and you're just delivering constantly. You could do that, and it's like 80 cakes per hour. Or yeah. you could, you know, while you're on it, you get okay. I'll get 70 cakes per hour, but I'm gonna get like two mil cash from this like little thing that I do on the side. That I could mean, definitely be a way of training it. And then it, yeah, I think it's more so just to provide a reason. Because like obviously, other than XP, right? There's gotta be like some it hasn't bonus. stopped people in the past. I can tell you that yeah. people are gonna craft 500 hours of blood runes. Yeah, yeah, easy, but I, I, I feel like I feel like we could really make it like like because like you know I feel like that's that's like you know yeah. it's kind of sad, mad, but like right? we have so. skills currently like construction, yeah. which had their potential for construction skill is like amazing. It could be the best skill. Yeah, but there's there's two ways of training it, and up to like was yeah. it two years ago there was one way of training it. Delete, build it again. Delete, yeah. build it again. Like so that's garbage. What, yeah, what so I'm this saying. This would have yeah. three or four different methods that yeah. you can choose yeah. from based on your play style. Yeah, what I'm yeah, saying you is you get XP for PK. Yeah, uh, what I'm saying is right. Obviously, when you when you do the AFK way, there's none of that. Uh, but like either way, no matter what, I feel like there's gotta be a, a motive, right? In terms of a lore, right? You don't want to just bring out a skill to bring out a skill, right? There's gotta be some lore to it, right? So so a lot of these, you know, uh, going back and forth between the same islands, the motive is what i'm saying is it's probably just resources right you're trading resources you're gathering resources to make it back to the mainland or whatever right or or, or mainland to those islands right and of course yeah. the way you can do that is uh there's the afk way which is probably way less interesting way less xp per hour and then there's the way where you mentioned where you know you're going to grab those things or or trade something over there but on the way you're you're manually there you're gonna try to optimize you know the route you're gonna make it go you're, you're trying to do it fast as hell uh, already in, increasing the XP prior. And then there's also all these other incentives and distractions where you could, you know, like you said, go and make extra money or grab some extra benefits. But like, yeah, that's what I'm saying. So like, I, I feel like to tie it all in, it's just like a purpose, right? Other than just XP, because I yeah. think it's very, I, I feel think... like it makes more sense to add a lore reason behind it instead of just like a skill for the sake of a skill, right? Now you have like, wow, this expands the story of RuneScape, right? Like how do people trade, you know? And you're gonna be a part of that, right? And it's gonna make so much sense too. Like beyond just a skill, think, there's a real, uh, real immersive value to the skill itself, right? I think so. the goal here should be to get people to train this skill and like enjoy it regardless of their level, right? Yeah, it's like that. That's something Jagex should come out from, where it's like people are obviously gonna get, like get 99 in this skill, but it should be a case of like you get 99 and you just want to keep going. It's like. Yeah. We're, we're talking about building like the ultimate skill right we're talking about the skill of skills like there's no skill that's going to come out after, potentially no skill that's going to come out after this because it's going to encompass so much that they can update it until the end of time <clears throat> so it's like it needs to be something where there are just multiple ways to do everything and everything. yeah there's the afk and there's the active i think we locked we got those two big ones down which is huge and then if you want there could be some in-betweens you know we yeah. can expand on that for sure but um what are so like what are some of the skills in game right now that have like the most different ways of training like like fishing is one that comes to mind you've got tick manipulation fishing for like mining, the highest I guess, rate similar mining the same thing yeah. and then you've got so, you know okay let's go with mining you've got granite which is like the top and then you could do Lava, um, you uh, know you could do the volcanic mine, mine. Volcanic mine yeah sorry. so that's like blast uh, mine slightly less effort 
a Slave OS XP, and then yeah, you've got Blast Mine, which is a little lower than that. And you've got uh, Mother Load, and then you've got yeah, Amethyst, like, nothing. Amethyst, yeah, Amethyst, AFK, yeah. I think the most complex skill with the most varieties undoubtedly Slayer. Slayer. Because, yeah. like, you get a different task every time, but then you choose how you base that task. Yeah. It's like, do you barrage them? It's like, do you kill them one by one? It's like, you get so many options for how you approach each task. Do you kill the Aviancies, or do you kill Armadin? Yeah, it's yeah. Like, there's yeah. so much variety. New I, I love yeah, Slayer. Yeah. I, I, that Slayer is my favorite skill, but when you think of you are a medieval person in this world, I'll see how it's a skill. It's a mini game where you're just told what to kill. Yeah, I, I, honestly, it's my a personal lot of skills opinion. are like that. Yeah, that's what artisan, which was literally you talk to an artisan master and they tell you to chop a hundred u logs and then you get a, a drop of XP. That's why I didn't pass. People were like, we don't need Slayer two for skilling. Like, it kind of makes sense to go with Slayer, but if you think of sailing, like as somebody from the 1500s, there were people who just sail their entire life as a, that's what they made their living off. Like, it is a genuine skill. Whereas yeah. some of these other things are not really skills that they've tried to pass. Uh, it has past. different themes, though. There's, like, the medieval element. There's the fantasy element. And I think Slayer yeah. is definitely yeah. more of a fantasy element. Perfect. And then there's also yeah. the primitive element, right? Which is, like, hunter, uh, fire making, uh, yeah. things like that. Fishing, you know, a lot of the primitive Strength stuff, for sure. sure. I think yeah. sailing well, definitely could... hits the medieval times, yeah. right? So it definitely fits, you know, sure. They, they, could, even, they could even, like kind of change slayer with this update where it's like instead of just getting a task from a slayer master how about you get a task from a lady whose village on the islands being overran by it could be a slayer mini game yeah. goblin. and it's okay. like you kill all of them and then you get like a little bonus xp it's nothing crazy but it's a fast task and it's a different way of training slayer. so yeah so you're at you know let's say you're at the port in port serum and there's like a, you know maybe an npc there that says like hey you know, I had to flee my island because it's been overrun. Like, can you, so the part one is you sail there. It takes you four or five minutes to get there. And then part two is you clear the island out. Part three is you go back and you get your reward. Like, that's a, that's a sailing mini game that involves other pieces. And that sounds good. A sailing, then, you know, a sailing mini you, game that's literally just racing another person. Well, and, yeah, yeah, and for you, sure. You've made, you've made like a, like a channel there. It's like maybe by doing so that NPC gets to go back to the island and it's like, okay, so now this is going to help me in delivering my fish to the island that's next door or something if that know. could be a quest too like that could be a you know you do the, they could um, they could add 10 quests or 20 quests that are sailing based um, oh, and maybe it's like... a sailing quest it's not in your actual quest book but like Dude. yeah yeah, yeah it, it like to get I'm... this island unlocked you have to like do this contract i, I to, think like, this sounds amazing i'm gonna I'm be completely honest and candid with you i think this is fantastic i love it but I think that it's going to be very difficult for Jagex to be able to like, like how do you put all of what we've discussed mm. into any kind of readable blog? That Here, here's gonna here's the into? deal. Here's the deal. There's they so don't. much. But... They got to stop doing written blogs. That's the main problem. The amount of like friends that I have that play that are like, I didn't read the blog. I don't have time for that. Well, okay. Like, they just don't read. Like make yeah. a, make a, a written <laughs> blog and then make a quick video. That's like four minutes long. That explains most of it, the general idea. That's, yeah, I have um, to do that. For you know sailing. what they need to do for this type of thing? I mean, I, you know, obviously, I feel like writing it down is always good because then you have proof that people can cite. But for something this big, they need to put out a comprehensive video where they, you know, have timestamps and people can go look at it, right? And of yeah. course, before that even happens, though, they need to gather all we just said. If 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 this was actually something for them to look at, they would have to first look, you know, listen to the whole thing and then just take like the core aspects that work that they can put on a video or a blog right because like there I will would, be some things that won't fit probably i would love for there to okay. be like on day one of the sailing release we know what the core concept is we know some of the rewards some of the islands but it's still a mystery and it's a mystery okay. until you physically found that island or it's like you're yeah. in discord you're watching Bodhi live streaming his boat and and you're like What's okay there's be? his you know. Wooks has 40k viewers and Wooks has gone further in his boat than anyone has. He hasn't died in his boat yet. He hasn't, you know, his boat hasn't been sent back to land or whatever the case is. And it's like, yeah, this is exciting. What's he going to find out here? We don't know yeah, what's sailing, like, like what else it, right? is going to be added. 100%, yeah. they could hint at it. Yeah, they could the be like, core, yeah, like, there's going to be islands that are combat 
base, the yeah. PvP there's base, a, whatever. You know? Raids four yeah. is on one of these islands, yeah, and it's sailing base. Like it's a sailing, it's a water based raid yeah. where you're it's, gonna have to find Atl- it. You know, first. you find Atlantis underwater, and you have to do the whole thing underwater. Or like, yeah. And then uh, something that I mentioned that people have to know is like, you know, when you train the skill, say the first time you land on an island, that's where you get the fat XP drop. And yeah. you could you could go all the way to ninety nine by just checking each of these fifty islands each time. Like, okay, I got to the tier ninety island, I got a two hundred and fifty k XP drop. But the second time I go back, I'm only getting ten k. Yeah, yeah. And mm-hmm. if you wanted to teleport back, you don't get any Slayer XP. You have to find the teleport on the island. You got to do that. So it's really like sailing is it's a skill. It's kind of like optional. It's what unlocks content, because. Otherwise, you can't get there. But once you're there, then it, it shows, okay, this is how you teleport back here. Yeah, and you then, find... like, through contracts and, like, whether you FK or not FK yeah. that method, you know, of delivery, like, you get the yeah. some of the other XP, you know, things like that. Yeah, some people want to do Mahogany Homes all the way to 99 cons because they don't want Carpal Tunnel. So there could just be a sailing method where it's like, yeah, like, you don't actually move the boat. You kind of sit on the boat for a couple of minutes while your NPC moves you, and that's the AFK method. And it's or you could do <laughs> you could do the sweaty method that is literally going through like the most treacherous waters where there's every thirty seconds something else is popping up. You know, there's a tidal wave that comes out. You kind of like the wave in uh, in Zback or uh, yeah. you know, Dragon Slayer too. Where there's a wave coming out, you got to get out of the way, and you're like trying to maneuver your boat. Um, yeah, like a a more sweaty method of that for sure. Maybe it's like more you're, rewarding. You're sweaty. changing you're changing prayers in your prayer book. Because something's like there's a Jad fighting you while you're going through these waters. You're doing like six things at once, mm-hmm. and that's the best XP. But no yeah. one wants to do that unless you're like really sweating. Yeah. So we've we've spoken about all of the the ways that you could potentially train this skill and all of the cool things that this could unlock. Um, have you thought at all about how much content exactly there should be? And what I mean by that is obviously mm-hmm. like how long should it it take you or should you expect it to take to mm. discover everything like are we yeah. are we talking like within day of release everybody's mapped out because you know no this way. is going to happen everybody's going to map out exactly where the islands are are we talking 24 hours to find all of the content are we talking days like i'm yeah. not talking about completing the actual islands itself but like the discovery of is that something yeah. that you've given any thought to i think like for each skill i mean you've got 13 mil xp if you're getting 100 kxp an hour, that's 130 hours. So by level, like, let's say 92, you've found every island. You've been to every island. Or maybe you haven't. Maybe you trained it a different way and you actually haven't been there yet. Um, yeah, if you were to go to each island, like, you will need to repeat islands to get to 99. Or maybe it's like, okay, I'll do some slow. I think there should be a level 99 contracts. island, though. You know, just because it's or, like... Yeah, I... I was I wasn't sure like do we do 95 or do we do 99 there, or is it like should be like each, a 99 100%. each level you find you you can have access to another island like is it each level like it it does that I don't know I don't think they like, can make a hundred physical places because then they'll um they'll have way too many things to balance so true. so yeah but, like you could just have an island that's just a random island there and there's like eight penguins on it like the one north of miscellanea that you can only get to the ferry ring like that's it yeah like, that's okay until like, until level fifty. That's all the islands are. They're not exciting. There's a yew tree on this one, and maybe it gives you two. Yeah, I mean, there should be shop. some like really exciting islands every like ten levels, you know, just to keep yeah. the flow. Yeah. So like again, yeah. what I'd written was like, once you're at level thirty, you start unlocking five islands per level, and like at level thirty, the islands are small, like Fossil Island, uh, the outskirts of Fossil. Island, sorry. So I'm looking at the map right now. Like those islands are like twenty, thirty tiles big. Like if you actually open the map, you can see there's three little islands around it. Like those would be the actual islands. Like they're already there. So if you sail to that, you can do that at level thirty. And once you get there, you get like you know eight hundred XP or Just whatever it is at that level. Deep. Yeah, add another set of birdhouses. Add something for like crafting that you could do every hour. That like I don't know, maybe you're fixing stuff on islands. Maybe one thing that I thought of was like I hate how you can only train fire making by burning logs or doing winter todd. Another method for that, you could literally just have like fire making contracts where it's like, yeah, go go burn down this island or like go, I don't know, go stoke the fireplaces of these people and like some of them are on islands. I don't know, weird, weird ideas like that. Another cool one, fletching contracts could be tied in with with sailing. Like, you know how like with Slayer you don't get assigned dragons unless you've done Dragon Slayer? Could be for like fletching or mahogany homes. 
one of the places, one of the homes that you go fix up, you got to sail to. It's like a quick 30 second across the uh, river. Also, Your boat's hey, right there. hey, people could be like, yo, I need like a hundred magic longbow stalks, you know, like, yeah, right. It could be, be like a fletching contract, and deliver a hunter it, you know? contract, yeah, just a like a cooking contract yeah. where it's like, can you bring deliver. me 200? Yeah. yeah. Like they're 100%. like in these islands, they're like, oh, it's hard to get these things, but we, you know, this is why you are here. You know, you're gonna bring us the goods, we pay you, and you, you know, get the XP for are, sale. Are we so. thinking on that? Because this is an interesting. Thing. That's why I was telling you the whole time. It's like the idea, right, of trading, because that's what, what sailing you know, realistically I don't, is. I don't, I don't disagree, but the way you that know? it was spoken about it, to begin with, it sounded like a glorified Amazon delivery driver. To be honest, well, it's that's like that's literally what sailing is, dog. It is you get paid a glorified the I, <laughs> Amazon Dude. delivery driver. I'm it's just dangerous. saying, like now, now that we've spoken more on it, I never disagreed. I just thought it sounded boring the way you pitched it because it did. It sounded like a courier service, dude. It's like yeah. the idea of exploration well, for me personally. What it is, so you know, more interesting. But my my question here is: if you get asked to make like a hundred U stocks or whatever it is, it's like, is this the kind of thing where you have to make them yourself? Or can nah, you nah. Them you're an Iron account? Man. You probably do, but on a main account, you could GE that bitch. You know yeah right. so it's that's, like that's interesting because then like there would be so many items that would be affected by that price wise you know like the, yeah. the economy would have uh, would be affected by this update in a really interesting way it will be no matter how they update this the economy is going to shift big time and yeah, i think I wanted... what we talked about immediately is like yeah uh, you can build a really cool boat by using 200 no. uncut onyxes and it like puts an onyx on like every like six inches around the boat <laughs> like to make it look cool it's just Stuff literally like that. all It'll black. Definitely sink it. Just onyx yeah, colored. You can make an onyx boat that can, you know, go on lava. Like, <laughs> uh, yeah, literally. Rip there Iron Man. Two hundred onyxes on Iron Man. Can you Impossible. Imagine? I mean, yeah. I'd have to buy a lot of casters. <laughs> yeah. So, oh kind of to follow up from my my last question about how long it would take. So obviously, it's going to be a lot of islands that are spread out, and I assume it's like various islands of sizes, etc. Um. Do you, do you have like any idea roughly how much like land mass? Like, are we talking like the size of Zaya? Are we talking <laughs> like the size of the main game? Like, do you have any any ideas on that? I would say none of these islands would be as big as Zaya. Like, if like the best uh, time so, frame. So, sorry, oh, sorry, I mean like I combined. Like, like total? total of, yeah, yeah, in total. Like Zaya is pretty big, but I definitely think like combined it could be something as big as or maybe a bit bigger than Zaya. Like. If you add up all of the uh, all of the islands for sure, but I, I do think like to get to level 60, 70 in a skill that takes you like a day or two. Like maybe it takes maybe it takes you, let's say 60, 50 hours to get to level seventy. I think that's pretty on par with some of the skills. I know some of them are way faster, but um, yeah, something like that. And then that's you don't need to spend much time on those little islands. You literally have an island where you get to it. There's a couple of trees, and there's like you know maybe an NPC that has a little side quest, and then. Once you're at those big islands, there there's going to be five islands the size of Crandor. If you like, look at the map, you see how big that is, and each of them is a different thing. Like one of the islands is just littered with fossils. One of them has just new new dragons on it, and it's like those gem dragons. They, again, I bring it up because they did to have that in their original uh, pitch for sailing, um, you know. And then the next island, so it's like you unlock that group of five islands at level ninety, um, and one of those islands is like a thirty minute dungeon. It takes about half an hour to do this dungeon, or it's kind of like a raid. Um, so yeah. yeah, definitely in that kind of realm of of size, maybe total. Okay, yeah, that's yeah. I think total, I like you know, that much content. yeah. I mean, like to be honest, a lot of the spaces are even in Zaya are are still relatively empty. So <laughs> realistically, yeah. it it only needs to be about like half, honestly, because there's so mm -hmm. much spaces in Zaya that's empty. So yeah, like you get on an island, I don't think there's any reason for the island to just be like a stamina sink where you're running around. Like they made the island of souls there recently, and there's just nothing on it. Like that's boring. I don't want to sail to an island yeah, that's got nothing. Yeah, exactly. Right? Like it's just uh, like I'd said I'd used uh, like Entrana as an example. At level fifty, you unlock a couple of islands that size. So it's got a furnace. It's got a sand pit. Like maybe that's just like a good place to go and get your crafting up and like. Yeah. Whatever you can, it, you can it, sail to that island. You get your 10k XP drop, and then you go to the next island. Once you've gone to all five islands, now you're at level 60. You've unlocked another five. Yeah, Maybe it's not yeah. that quick. Maybe yeah. you repeat it like a few times between levels 50 and 70. But like from level 90 to 99, let's say that's when you unlock the final set of islands. Like that would be like you're going to it like 10 times each island, like 50 
kind of trips, 50 raids. So if you picture it like an actual, like a Chambers, if you'd have completed a half hour Chambers, you get a 50k XP drop at the end. That's how Dungeoneering was. But maybe that's like 20k XP comes from the act of moving your boat through the ocean to get there. And then 30k XP can be found on the island by doing different activities. Maybe it's like when you chop a tree, you get a sailing XP drop as well as a regular. I don't know how they want it to work. I think that's, a per again, a perfect example of how they should pull this skill. How do you want XP to work? Like, how do you want to get XP? How do you want to train the skill? How do you want to get XP? What do you want the XP rates to be? I do think XP rates should be probably like 100 to 120k at the highest. Um, they don't want, I don't want them to add a skill that's 20k XP an hour like some of the other ones had been before updates, but um, yeah. Have you, have you considered the islands in this not being stagnant? So similar to with Cox raids where it's like, you know, you get a different layout every single time. I, I don't know how many varieties there are. I'm sure somebody's figured it out, but like, you know, to touch back on the whole weather system, like say for example, every like six hours, there's a storm and yeah. you know, we're, we're playing a fantasy game here. And then maybe all of the islands get Mythical muddled up. Creatures. And it's mm. not in the same places before. Like, is that something that you've thought about? And do you think- that I that think- would... I think, honestly, the best, and I keep, uh, everything about this skill is to make everyone happy. I think the best would be you have some instanced islands. Maybe that's a mini game or like a, a way of training it, is you go on an exploration to an island and you don't know what's on the other end. You haven't been there. It's, it's randomly generated. Like, that, when you say um, randomly generated, maybe there's a hundred of them and they just, like, keep running through and you get, like, you can scout your raid or whatever. Yeah, for um, example, I was thinking, like, you know, if you're going to actively go, because, like, you know, those, like, I think we should call those the milestone islands, right? The milestone islands should not be randomly in an area. It should be always yeah. at a particular yeah. place. Like, because, I would say you know, the, the top island is like, yeah, that's where the max players hang out, right? Like, that's they all go there. But yeah. when you're training it, yeah, you can have instanced islands where it's like, it's in a different spot in the ocean. You could go three minutes and straight in this direction, not find anything. You're actually looking for it. You're looking at your compass that tells you, like, yeah, it's pulling to the um, northwest. Yeah. To um, find the island. That's an, makes me think of, that's an interesting uh, you guys one. Heard the myth of the big turtle. You guys know what I'm talking about? The what of the big turtle? I missed the first it's part. It's the myth of the big turtle. It's kind of like if you play Zelda, it kind of pops up. And there's an old myth. I don't know where it comes from that this island is a turtle. Oh, it's yeah. Okay. So yeah. Old, it kind of featured God of War. It just pop, I don't know where it comes from. It's an idea. Yeah, it's, it's a like, giant land turtle. Like the worst back is. Yeah. On <laughs> RuneScape for sailing, and it's just kind of moving, and it's growing the resources on it, and going, you can find it. It's always somewhere different. Yeah. Maybe it's got like yeah, yeah. region like shooting stars, but further. for for mining or for mining for mm -hmm. shooting stars, but for sailing, where it's like okay, yeah, someone was looking in their their ship's telescope, and they saw something in the distance. Like okay, everybody. So, so here's here, here's the deal. This brings. Yeah, you finish your thing first off. No, that's it. That's it. Okay, Go for it. but like I'm thinking, okay, this brings a really interesting question though, right? Because how much variability should there be, and 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 how should we make the AFK skill work, right? Because now you have the question of should some islands be static? I feel like I feel like there should be islands that are static. In which case, if you send your if you do the AFK web training, right, which is where you send your NPC crew to that place. Because it makes sense, right? It's the NPC crew. They they're they're robots. They're just they're not really gonna think that deep, right? They're gonna just go to that place and come back within a certain amount of time, and you get a little bit of XP, right? And then if you're gonna do your more active way of training, that's just my idea of it. But like, if you're gonna do a, the more active way of training the, you know, your skill, which is you manually going and sailing, and the path to it is different, in the, you know, then you have that variability and all the other variability that you talked about before like different monster encounters different random uh reward encounters things like that right challenges mm -hmm. right so what do you think about that because i feel like there's some items that should be static because like think about it right if you're gonna because like i feel like a lot of skills should have a very casual aspect to it right because it's a skill and it's one of the things that people you know when they play this game they interact with and and I don't think you want to overwhelm them with like, here, every single island, it's going to be different every time. So good luck finding it, you know, right? I yeah. feel like there needs to be some sort of uh, very like easy to understand way of training it without it yeah. being like crazy, you know, for certain yeah, people. Yeah, so right? like for, for an AFK method, 
uh, you know, when people say AFK, they don't realize they're clicking every eight seconds. Like, people yeah, say chill. minnows. Maybe chill. Maybe minnows chill. are AFK, oh, right? And you're clicking every, like, eight to 12 seconds, whatever the time is. Yeah. Um, so for sailing, it could be, like, you're sitting and you've got the your character, whatever. You're standing by the steering wheel and you just keep it going straight. You keep it going straight and then eventually turn around and go back. And that's, like, you've gained XP doing that. It's not the fastest method. It's better to, like, actually do something like a contract or whatever, but... That's how you could train it sort of in an AFK way, just like boating in circles or whatever. And like, I picture each person's ship having kind of like a couple of elf health bars. So you've got like, it's actual like HP and like, as your boat gets damaged, you can see like visually, okay, like there's a, there's a crack in the boat and like, okay, how much water has been let in stuff like that. And then you bring it back to your port and then you repair it and then you can go back out. It, you know, it could be quick to repair it. You're using a couple of logs, a couple of nails, some, you know, uh, one thing that I wrote was like for, you, you could use tar. Instead of Terramin tar, it goes all the way to Torstil tar. So you could like repair it with the best tar that lasts the longest. You check your boat's stats and it says, you know, these are the 10 pieces of your boat that need to be repaired. This one's at full health. This one's at half health. And you bring it back to 100%. Um, that could be. What a, okay, Aspects so I yeah. yeah I get what you're saying. So I mean, a, a cool way to do that would be maybe, um, it would be like you get an estimated time, right, based on what's going on at the time, yes. like to reach there, right. And if you're doing an AFK way, uh, well, also there's this element of like you you'll know the general direction. So like I guess if you AFK it, your your boat will eventually reach that place. It's just a matter of how long it takes yeah. to reach that place. Whereas if you're yeah, active, maybe you can. Maybe you can, you can like, speed your boat up by a lot, getting yeah. in the correct current, right? Yeah, exactly. If the current is different yeah. every time. Uh, maybe there's, okay, th it's windier over here. You've got three ways of speeding your boat up. You can hire a bunch of NPCs to row like crazy. <laughs> you can get someone to, like, man the sails. Maybe you've added Oops. a third, you've added four sails to your boat, and it's just, like, all about speed, 100% so, speed. So maybe then, in inherently every journey could be afkable right but then obviously the moment you you know step your the foot moment in the you get into a yeah when you, you get make the decisions yourself yeah it's afk until you hit a random event and you can choose to ignore the random event and that random event could be okay there's a whirlpool that wasn't here the last time i went or there's a, a pirate ship npc bots show up and they're ready to fight it's like do you choose to fight or do you choose to, to run away and keep getting xp or there's um, like a new monster, like a, a sea monster, or maybe the random events are all good. And it's like, okay, you just came across a patch of like sharks. And if you want, you could fish for two minutes and get 500 raw sharks. Well, yeah, there, like there should so, also be events where like, if you actually manually uh, interact with it and do it yeah. properly, you'll, you'll save yourself an insane amount of time. Right. Like, yeah. they'll just like, yeah. So that's what the other ones would be like, oh, okay. You've, you can see there's a slipstream over on the left there. Like jump on that. You'll get to the island quicker. Um, yeah, yeah, I think the AFK method was like the way you actually okay. train it would be you get in the boat and you you choose the direction that you start in and you say okay I'm going north and then your character like you can walk around on the deck and talk to the NPCs or whatever nothing's happening as soon as you're like oh shit we need to turn because there's a rock coming up you got to run back to the uh, to the wheel turn the turn the wheel to the left depending on how good your boat is like if you've got a a quicker moving but like on the weight maybe the weight factors in or how good your rudder is how good your wheel is you can turn quicker to avoid it so it's like okay i got more time to get there and if not you bump into that rock you would boat loses half health you're like shit now i gotta go home and fix it or like so, now i gotta just dock here and fix it whatever the case yeah is. yeah yeah are, are you able to see other people in their vessels is, is this something that we're gonna i don't know if they can code That'd this so because Buggy, the I way think. players work is they step on top of each other. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> just stand on the same tile, right? That'd be more of a Like, it's literally, the ocean is just a bunch of tiles. Like, it's yeah. just, like, they just make it so you can walk on water. Yeah. But instead of your, instead of being your character, it's a boat. Like, that's kind of how I'm thinking. So, like, can they code it so that two people can't step on each other? Like, there's NPCs I think it'll can't have do to that, be... so maybe it'll work. I think it would have to be in a much more controlled area right where yep. where it's coded that way like like let's say you're doing a pvp boat to boat fight in in the wilderness yeah. waters i think it'll have to be more of like a instance thing where it kind of controls how your two boats will interact with each other sets some limitations because like, i feel like general training i don't think you'll see people because uh, i feel like there'll be a lot of crazy shit 
like coding wise. I think, I think the actual while you're actually sailing, like it, it should be an instance kind of yeah, thing, and yeah. that's how they generate all those random events, right? Yeah. Whereas yeah. once you get to the island, then you could be like, oh crap, there's 300 people on the island. Yeah. And it's like okay, you go down, you walk up to the volcano, and now you start a volcano kind of dungeon that's like seven, eight minutes long, and that's where you can find some new boards to upgrade your boat or like this or that, like that. Definitely, like when you're in the boat, it should be instanced, but then maybe like the wilderness isn't instanced, or maybe the PKing aspect of it is just locked. It's like a mini game, kind of like Bounty Hunter Craters from 2008, where it's like you enter the crater, now it's PvP. Like, okay, there's a dock, a specific dock in the wilderness, right north of the Mage Bank. Once you step foot in, once you get in a boat up there, like it's a different boat from the one that you use on the mainland. So then you can actually choose, okay, I don't want my boat to be a quite as expensive. And then you would have your own port where you can store all these boats. Like you can build each boat once. And you can kind of tailor that boat to what you want. Do you want speed for the fastest XP? Do you want size so that you can bring the most resources back home? Do you want a mixture of both? Do you want this? Like, I don't know if anyone's played uh, any recent Call of Duty game, but like your gun, you can you can sort of tinker with this, you know, this sight attachment on it so that it has faster aim down sight speed and slower mobility like you can do that with boats like there's 10 different aspects of a boat each tab in your uh in your, you know you open the crafting thing and it's got like weaving armor spinning pottery tab one is like navigation and that's your your wheel and your rudder and whatever else your sails yeah, or maybe yeah. tab two is sails tab your three hull. is like your hull exactly yeah so you can kind of tailor each of those and there maybe is like thousand or maybe a hundred combinations of a boat so not everyone's just going to the best in slot boat like you can actually kind of tailor it based yeah. on your play style or what you want or xp how much xp do i want how much resources do i want maybe this one journey i just want to get there and build a bank on this island and that uses like 300 logs and 300 pieces of tar and whatever to build this entire place that one time is when you bring the big ass boat and the next time you go for speed you just get in the tiny boat that just zips through the island at like seven tiles per tick whereas the slow boat is like three tiles per tick man could you imagine boat ragging just like zarekin boys building the worst wilderness boat exactly. goes down in one hit but making no food yeah dude, i can I see can... them doing that day one every time i look at min it's, it's like so how red. to do in the wilderness just... min are you watching like a fireplace online right now <laughs> am i red bro, there, bro? What's man, going you're here? glowing yeah it's this light <laughs> oh Oh, it's because I put my night light on. So when I when I do this, yeah, yeah, so it's yeah, looks like you're watching a fire. Fire. Like Mordor right now. He's watching a virtual <laughs> fireplace right now. Nice it's winter, bro. It's so, winter. I forgot you guys could see the reflection. Yeah, I got the <laughs> night light on. So it's yeah, he's got warm. man's got a pee. Are burning. Uh, oh. I mean, we we yeah, I feel like we went super comprehensive, and I do really like the vision here. You know that uh, that uh, that uh, we heard so far. I would I love this. They bring in boat movement, though. I don't want it to be instance. I'd like to be able to control the boat, point and click. But I do wonder if that would even be a thing, because like, it, like they said, like, would the boats collide? Would they have to build? Something I feel like, like yeah. I feel like that would be. I feel like that would be a separate instance of PvP, right? It would be like a PvP generated instance of of boat See, interaction. I want them to go yeah. all the way, dude. Like, I want them to put like months of effort just in boat movement, right? And like, that you can't collide. Just make it real smooth, real fun. Because imagine how fun it would be just having like the master navigator of the boat. You know, you got, oh, he's the captain. He's he knows all the boat mechanics for the point and click game. You know, he's just an expert. And like yeah, on the Call of Duty, you got those helicopter people that are really good at the helicopters and all that shit. It could be yeah. the boat master. Right? Yeah, yeah. I hope it is really mm. thought out because I think that'd be a lot of fun to navigate and just mess around with boat mechanics. Well, yeah, for I sure. think. I think um, I also like the idea of it not being an instance as well. I think being able to see other people would be cool, um, but obviously it would have problems. Yeah, I don't like, think it would work yeah. though. That's the problem. I, I just I, hope I it think would work. I like, think it would be more immersive if you could see other ships. I, I just feel like that would be missing from it if you weren't if they, able to see other other vessels. What Maybe if they so had like, fish and yeah. Catherine and just watch this big old boat? Just going by, just super slow, and then they're oh. talking shit on the boat. Hey, you boatless fucks, you know? They're just. <laughs> what I was amazing. actually just thinking is they nah. could obviously make it so there's like hot zones, right? So it's like if you're coming out of like a main port somewhere, obviously you're not going to be able to see all of the boats. 
and maybe you are on your own until you hit open C. But this kind of leads into my next question. We've talked about how much land mass there's going yeah. to be. How much water mass are we thinking? It's got to be a like, lot, dude. Like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, it's gotta like be a how far up dog. or how far down or how far I think out. The only think? way to do this is to instance that, bro. Because unfortunately, there's no way you can have like that much land auto generated and, and for people to like go through, you know? Like it would, it would get in the way of so many aspects, you know, like the different generated things that are happening, right? Because, yeah, it's just a lot of yeah, net mass. Just, I think it's just uh, a matter of level thirty when you hit the water. You're in the level thirty water instance, and in that instance, it could roll one of like twelve, fifteen different ones. Where okay, in this instance, there's actually just rocks in the middle of the ocean, like mm. talk, open, talking out, whatever you want to say, and then. You've got, uh, you know, a whirlpool. Is, okay, instance two has this. Like, that's how they could kind of code it. I think One the thing best with, like... way that you could actually have people in general while training is that you can co-op, right? Your boat. Yes. Pretty much. So that's if, that's if people refuse to train, if people refuse to train this skill, they could stay level one. They want to go to the tier 90 island, you just hop on someone else's boat and they bring you there. And they could just say, Iron Man, sorry, like, you know, you stand alone. You got to build your own boat. Yeah. Um, um, or they could say like yeah they could they could do it that way for sure uh, maybe there's a teleport to an island that is tradable and you you can sell it one thing is like those new dragons those gem dragons they could have a dragon that's made out of a new type of gem like a brand new type uh, or they could have rocks that are this new type of gem that unlocks a new piece of jewelry like a skills necklace but the skills necklace is just like you know whatever you want to call this flumpite or whatever um, where it's like, you know, you can actually teleport to different islands using this thing and you bind it to whichever islands, but you can only have five islands. If you know, if you want, if you want to keep those five islands, like if you want to switch them, you gotta, you gotta dump one slot to get back. Anyways, some ideas with how to get to and from these islands, well, especially if you could, don't want to train them. They could make some nice money things where, like, for example, I think it would make sense that they could have an NPC that could take you to like one of the islands. But yeah. it's like, in order to use that service, you got to pay. And not only do you have to pay, you've had to have been there previously. Yeah. So then you would probably get people, <clears throat> like players, that were like, you know, running to level 90 islands, 5 mil a person or something like that, you know. Uh, they, they could do something cool like that. Like, it opens up, like, a, a window. Of yeah. So many, so cool many. Cool interactions. Yeah, I feel like co-op interaction is really awesome. They should totally try to find some ways to make that work. But um, I know you want to see, like, people's boats interacting with other people people's boats i think like in the wilderness that should be like its own specific sort of scene yeah, you gotta be able to see each other. yeah right a specific i was thinking of instance. a flag system dude so you could flag your boat that means every boat you see is now pvp enabled and in, in certain cargo boats like rice was saying you could hold a certain amount but if you want to double that amount or triple that amount you got to flag up right mm. so anytime you leave the for port to make a bunch of money you're flagged and the boat, depending how big it is, gets really slow. But the bigger those boats are, like we were talking earlier, the slower they get. So say the there's more, a really the popular HP trade route, I feel have, like plan like, just camping yeah. there with their big boat and just just dom dominating Ooh. boats going by. Actually, just actually, crazy. man, I have a cool, I have a cool idea, right? So you know, because it's an instance, right? You can actually do a lot with an instance. If you check yourself for PvP enable, then I feel like when you load into the instance, it should be. The variables should be set so that like you encounter someone like that right mm -hmm. so that way it's still that's, the same like instance it's just there's a different just like loadout, uh, you know loadout for I, it. I put it i put in the chat there like yeah. the tithe farm tithe yeah. farm on each world has like an unlimited amount of instances and it's just like you can only have three per instance so if you like you set out on the ocean you could be you with like five ten other people on that instance but maybe not two people can leave from the same port so you're not just bumping into each other immediately. It's like, you know, this one instance will involve one person from each of these five ports, and it'll close after four minutes. And if it doesn't fill up, you're the only one on the ocean. If it does fill up, then you'll you'll bump into them like, you know, later down the road or water. Yeah, that could water. that could be that could probably work. I just feel like there might be some weird shit happening, like cause like with your idea of random events, right? And I can because I feel like the random events isn't just like one tile npc spawns and then you talk to him right it's probably going to be like yeah. a big thing that happens so like yeah. how would you make those boats interact but i feel like okay before i even pose that question seriously i just think the idea of like 
the incentive to turn on like the pvp mode or whatever and ha maybe having a separate instance for it for that like like because let's say you you check for pvp interaction right and then you load into the c then that means that 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 instance has its own rev specific sort of rules right and like the idea of doing that is more so to make money right you're not really there to like necessarily gain more you know gain faster xp rates but that's just for people that would love to maybe you know get more money right profit off of the skill rather right because like that's what the wilderness is at the end of the day and that's what pvp is in the wilderness you you, you want to kill people for their loot and make profit so i feel what like that, that could be its own set of instance right in the what same general extend, idea right they just extend the wilderness ditch all the way to the right and all the way to the left so you're <laughs> boating along and then there's a ditch and then your boat has to mm. hop over the ditch to keep and then now you're in the wilderness that'd be a perfect way of doing it yeah yeah I, it's just, no, just it's just like you know because like I'm, I'm thinking about the realisticness of it right because like technically you know in real life you could get robbed by another ship at any point in time right so i yeah. feel like if you opt for, opt in for it the incentive is you get you fight people in the ocean for money right yeah. rather than you know because then i don't care i don't want to do that i'm just gonna like do it normally i'm just gonna load in a normal instance and if you decide that we should have a few people that that can be in the instance and somehow make it work with all the, you know, random event stuff, then I'm cool with that. If not, it's okay. I'd rather just go on my own, like, no no PvP instance, right? And then just do my thing. Because, like, if you really want a yeah. PvP instance, I think it's possible with that, you know, it's, it's as I simple the, as a check mark and you load it in, right? I think the thing. way of doing it would just be, like, which port do you leave from? Like, if you leave from a port that's in the wilderness, your PvP is enabled. If you leave from a port that's not in the wilderness, PvP is not enabled. So to get to that like tier 90 yeah, island, maybe. you could leave from the one up north, and it's maybe a little, it's a little closer, maybe it's a little faster to get there. If someone bumps into you in the water, they can, they can take your ship down or whatever. I, I like that idea. Also, like you could flag up anywhere as well, and you just skip all the random events to you. Like just because you're yeah, taking yeah, that risk, you can thinking. just go straight there and straight back. Mm. Um, yeah. I yeah, maybe it's like, like a smoother path if you yeah. take on that risk of another player. Like, the other players are the random events. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. That's why the separate yeah. instance yeah. would have separate rules, right? Because, like, there's no way a, a PvP instance using the same rules as the non-PvP instance will work well. Because you're, like, you're trying to fight the guy, not get hit by a fucking cyclone, you know? <laughs> Mid-fight, right? Like, or, yeah. like, how would, they, how would you even code that, you know? Like, oh, that'd be sick. Like, oh, you're luck, fighting someone, and all of a sudden, there's an earthquake underwater, <laughs> and it causes a tidal wave. And then Yo, both your boats I mean, just get washed I, off. I feel like that's a layer of potential that they could like after they've done the the main stuff right if they like thinking like hey how about we make it so that like in the pvp situation we can code it so that other things can happen right yeah. i feel like that would be something they would have to like try to find out how how to make it work later on down the line yeah, i do probably. think like from what so, we've explained like the, the depth of this skill and yeah. how far it can go like they would they would take all hands on deck for a year to build yeah, this. I'd say and so. the lucky yeah. part is like they can yeah, hire just Joe Schmoes like us to design the skill, like use the community <laughs> to design it, but then have just the coding you, team. Just you, but instead of having the, the typical three people that code an update, get hire people. I don't know, get like 10, 15. Like they're gonna make a ton of money off of this. They're gonna advertise it's, the crap out of it. Yeah. It's, it's perfect. Big. It's yeah. perfect. Mm -hmm. and, and you know what? If I was working at Jagex and I was like a mastermind advertiser. I would 100% be saying to like Moldash, one of the coders, I'd be like, make sure we can replicate the Falagor massacre. Because that's <laughs> going to be a huge selling point. Mm -hmm. And people are going to hear about this sailing massacre where people came from the wilderness and <laughs> ditch and started destroying everybody. Oh, yeah. that would be amazing. Can you imagine the publicity? That'd be yeah. huge. People would be like, I, oh I, yeah. shit, Ruskip's got a new skill. Boom, marketing instantly. Dude, Mod Sween, if you're watching, take notes. Easy. <laughs> yeah, Easy. I mean, like, honestly, I really wanted Dungeoneering because it had elements that... Of course you want Dungeoneering. Maybe, you yeah, want yeah, hold on, hold on. That's, that's just the start of what I'm trying to say. But, like, mm -hmm. like the you know, the, uh, Dungeoneering had certain elements of experience that most skills didn't, right? Because, to be honest with you, most skills in this game is pretty dull. It, it only works because they existed when we were kids, so we have yeah. a heart for it, right? But like any other skill like this coming out now, we'll be like, what the fuck is this trash? Yeah. Literally, right? So, but like, but like, you know, if we can, ex if we can actually do a sand skill that has even fifty percent of what we talked about here, 
I would like it as as easily as I like Dungeoneering, you know, and I would be a hundred percent for it because it has Literally. those elements of the spon spontaneousness, the discovery, the the incentive to just level up so that you can explore more places and and be rewarded in different ways, you know, other than just like oh more XP, you know, like I don't, you know, what I mean. So personally, they, I, they I think use, it's a great. They could have yeah. one of the islands that you sail to yeah. as being Diamondheim or whatever you called it from RuneScape yeah. Two, and it's just that's the Dungeoneering yeah. Island. Yeah. And like yeah, once you yeah. once you've sailed there, you get the XP drop, and then yeah. after that, it's like you can get back here by sailing to it again for free, or you pay a bunch of money, or one of the drops from Dungeoneering is a telly to get there, or maybe you can get like yeah uh, yeah I mean... degradable teleport like the case yeah, like, yeah i like, do I'm want not, dungeoneering in the game yeah i'm not hard stuck on dungeoneering having to be a skill i just like yeah. that because like before the jagus just never offer a skill that was remotely close to a to a skill like dungeoneering but but i feel yeah. like our this idea here is you know just as fun you know or maybe more fun in different ways so i would i would love this instead if it was possible you know if, if there's one thing i've taken away from this podcast it's that whatever the new skill needs to be it needs to be highly dynamic mm, oh absolutely it needs, it needs to be like you look at our skills right now like we said slayer is probably like the skill that you can do the most with you have the most options and it's the most varied like it needs to blow slayer out of the world. oh absolutely like, it should uh, it needs to be dynamic like it just needs to have a lot of different ways to train it so many options and like things to do with it but like honestly, like this has kind of changed my mind. This is basically the pitch for sailing that we never had. This is what sense. sailing has always. I, I want to call it voyaging yeah. or even exploration at this point. You know, just because yeah. get rid of that. Just because so the, the name itself. The is, thing with yeah. exploration is like yeah, that would be sailing, but it would also have to be like you know voyaging. when you're exploring. Sorry. Like the first time you go into a dungeon, like you go into Taverly Dungeon, you get a little boy, or you get in a what do you call it? Yeah, an exploration XP drop. Like that's what ex. Exploration would be like bigger than sailing. Even. Yeah, sorry, uh, voyaging. That's the thing. voyaging. I would yeah. love voyaging. If, you, if they can yeah, get this I would to that. pass by just changing the name, sign me up. Yeah, like, I, don't I, care I what think it's voyaging called. will work. I, I, I the other thing, the name. I think this is big enough. Change. This is big enough to be like you know the ultimate skill. This will define old school as like okay, old school was the at game least that for they the next five, At least for the next five years, in my opinion, you know, right? This skill should be so fucking big that no other. If they can't do that. Yeah. If they can't do that, this should still come into the game in some form where sailing is a mini game and you can do that to get to the I don't know. Like yeah. it's just too good of an idea. It just fits. And like I said, it is genuinely a skill to to, to navigate a boat, to paddle yeah. a boat, to put the sails up. Like and it would be a skill that both the player can do and both like, you know, your character that you've built can get better at as they do it more. I feel like it should come out as a skill. You know, 100%. because otherwise 100%. they just missed a free skill, <laughs> a yeah. good skill. They missed a free like, good skill. Picture, picture day one of the new skill, and it's warding or it's archaeology, and people look and they open the skill tab, and it's just like, oh, I can do higher level fossils. The higher level I get up, and it's like, cool. I have no interest in continuing to train this because there's nothing exciting at the other end of it. There's nothing mm -hmm. like to do. Whereas sailing is like it's dynamic. It changes. There's different ways of training it. It's like, oh, I can get to this island at level 70 that has a new Slayer Master, and that Slayer Master gives you tasks of a thousand of a monster. And it's monsters that are only found on islands that you can sail to. When you complete the task, you get a 40k XP drop, or whatever the case. Like, there could just be so many pieces of content that they add that fills in all those other gaps in the game, and they could release them in expansion. Like, every three months, we add another sailing update, and it adds you know, a couple more islands and they have different things on it. Like, oh, here's a new hunter training method. Here's a new fire making training method. It's AFKable where you just, you click every 30 seconds and it adds more logs to the fire, like stuff like that. Like they definitely can just use sailing as the vessel to make the game just like amazing where they can add so many things to it. Yeah. You're not even yeah. just, you're not even just seeing this as a new skill. You're, you're kind of seeing it as like the future of the game. <laughs> yeah. But there's enough content in the game right now to keep all of us around since its release, right? Like, there's enough that people don't have to do sailing if they don't want to. If they want to go to these islands for the content on it, and they can just jump on someone else's boat. They can buy the teleport on the GE. They can pay an NPC 500k to get there. And then it goes down in cost every time you go there. Something like that. Like, just kind of, um, yeah, that'd be the best way to do it. Hmm. Yeah. Mm. 
definitely, dude. I mean, man, we came into this, and I'm not gonna lie, I, I've never had like a high opinion of like sailing, but I think this this whole conversation has kind of changed my mind. When it's given to you like that, and it's like, okay, well, it you know, it, it's like there was. My sister just got home. Oh, okay. So, All right, well, we're wrapping up soon. We're wrapping up soon. <laughs> Can you hear her? Yeah, what did she, she say when she me? came in? I heard handsome or something. What did she excuse say? Excuse me? Yeah, she's saying excuse me because I call oh, her sister. Excuse me. Yeah. <laughs> she did say handsome before. She's like, yeah. Yeah, we're all about to wrap up, so tell your sister uh, almost done. <laughs> <laughs> we, just, we discovered before we started recording that if we were to have kids, since you're technically my sister to this community, uh, I would be both the father and uncle of the <laughs> Oh my god. That's disgusting. Uh, I, I know can't. It is. It's Get, too yeah. much. All right, we got to keep it terms of service. Um, yeah. <laughs> and my dog is coming too. Well, well, my what is, is, oh, what by is the way, like we're the 2 hours and 20 minutes in, so uh, okay, sorry. Yeah. Love you guys. Good luck. Mhm. Mm okay, she's leaving. Okay. I love old school RuneScape. Hey, she's, let's she's go. never played. Yeah. yeah. The first oh, female to play this game. Thanks it. Rat. Okay. She, wait, did you say sit rat? She did, yeah. yeah. That's one of my notes on Twitch. <laughs> sit rat. Oh, that's brilliant. Yeah. Bro, wait, bro, hold up. So you'd be the dad and uncle. What's like the, the easy... Is that like... The dunkle. The dunkle? That's a dunkle, yeah. <laughs> be a dunkle. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you gotta combine that those words terrible. to say your brain. That sounds dunkle? terrible. Oh, well, I'm thinking, is it dunkle or dankle? Dunkle. Because <laughs> it's dunkle. one or two. It's one dunkle. of them, right? Dunkle, man. Dunkle well, dankle. What is dunkle? Father uncle. uncle is kind of like yeah. father uncle. Uncle. Yeah, it's close. <laughs> or, or it could be uncad. Yeah. yeah. That yeah. sounds like yeah. a program where you would like design yeah. schematics for a yeah. for building. What, what's your learning language? <laughs> Dunkad? <laughs> yeah. yeah, exactly. <laughs> right. I think on that note, we should wrap this up. I know we did have some other things to talk about, but, but honestly, we'd save we it for, for another day. Yeah, we'll That's fine. I'll come back on. Hell yeah. yeah. He's going to save RuneScape again in some way. So. Yeah. Matt. It's it's honestly been a pleasure, and like I said, like before this, I didn't really have much of a high opinion for sailing. I think sailing kind of just has like a bit of a bad rap to the name. And you're right, I think that the name would need to change for this. It can be whatever they want it to be. But like, I think the thing that I like the most about this is just the endless amount of opportunity and potential updates that could be added to this. And I think that in itself it is like a successful way to go ahead and add a new skill. I think you're right. I don't think it can be something which is anything as like, how do I explain this? Every single skill we have is just like, it, it's the same. It, it's like whatever, it's like, look at mining. It's like you're always swinging a pickaxe at something. Like yeah. there's there's no exception. So it's like it needs to be dynamic. It needs to have multiple ways to train. It needs to be something that's highly accessible from even level one to all new players, and um... fun. Most importantly, I think I think yeah. this yeah. is a fun idea. You gotta you gotta be excited for it, right? Like, yeah. It would be exciting being like, I don't know what random event I'm gonna get when I step out there. It could be the one in a thousand kraken that's like the omega kraken that you know wipes your account. The real of its kraken. Items if you die to it, like yeah, like that. It would just be like exciting always. No matter what, and that's what we need. Like, we need something that's fun, exciting, repeatable, um, you know, and not just like, okay, well, this is how you train the new skill, and that's just what you do in totally 99. Like, people don't care for that, I don't think. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I, I came into this understanding that, like, you know, Flopple's vision of what, you know, let's just call it voyaging right now would be is completely different from what was pitched before so i see it as almost a completely different as concept in general right because the the runescape pitch for this was just simply okay here's some new lands you go to and that's about it you know so i feel like that was like nothing that was yeah. there was like no point that that was like literally mini game done you know so yeah this is much better the, 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 there's like you know that we, we expanded upon contracts we expanded upon how it ties in with the rest of the game thematically right like all that good stuff right like the interactions and in, in in the dun uh in the whole sailing aspect and the crews and the types of the ships you know the reason why you would even sail like trade goods or explore new places whatever for new rewards like a huge so different right it's literally a own, its own skill it couldn't be yeah. anything less so. yeah 
I just, I, just, I just had a really cool thought as well. Like they could make the like missions as interesting as possible. Like you could potentially have like smuggling missions. Where like I'm just thinking, I, I can't remember what the quest is called. But you know the dude on Karamja that you have to put bananas in his crate, yeah, and then you put the rum in there. I, pirates, something. I can't treasure maybe. I can't think of the name pirates of the quest. Booty? Yeah, <laughs> pirates booty. But like mm. you can also do that. Mm. You, can, you can actually do that. Is I remember my brother showed me that. This is how bad we were back in the day. He showed me that as a legitimate money maker because I think yeah. you got like. 30 coins every like 30, 20 or 30 yeah. bananas or something <laughs> yeah. oh yeah i learned that remember, that's great it was it was like this generates gold this has that's amazing be. anyway i'm just thinking like it could be a case of like you have to get an item from one island to another but maybe that item is banned and you have to figure out like a creative mm -hmm. yeah that could be like a piece. that could be like a like a special contract you know right it's like yeah. psh, psh, i got something for you you know like yeah right off the off the wall the runescape like, drug yeah. trade that'd be sick yeah, yeah. Yeah, come on, add drugs. One, and, you know, Molasses, you get it back to the mainland, yeah. then you can sell it on the GE, and then people can buy it, and it's just this, like, extremely strong alcohol that makes your screen shake for, like, an hour. <laughs> well, people would yeah. buy it, too. Pretty yeah. Dude. Oh, 100%. Maybe, maybe they could have it so that, like, to do it, you need to get, like, a special kind of boat, a smuggler's boat that is, yeah. like, designed to, like, have a really harsh landing. It's like, you can get it into, like, the fucking rocks. And it's, yeah. Like, it's, like, oh, yeah, and, there like, should be so durable. many different types of contracts. You know, honest to good, just trade good contracts or, like, some super secret mission, you know, smuggling yeah. illegal shit, you know? Yeah. Oh, bring bring this island, yeah. like, 200 logs for their winter. Like, yeah, yes, yeah. Be like I need to keep warm. Things like that would be sick. Yeah, I would love that, man. It'd you should be, be able to add the drugs to, like, a Ceridom and brew, and then, like, trade your friend the brew, and they don't realize it's spiked. And it has to be that specific brew. <laughs> and then when they drink it, their screen starts moving all over the place. <laughs> You're just in top dropping brews, and they don't know which one has the drugs in it. That'd be sick. Oh, my God. Damn, that'd be fricked. Also, boys, anybody watching the podcast at this point, the word of the podcast is smuggling. Put it down in the comments if you're. I'd say voyaging, either or. Oh. I, I, my my personal one is voyaging. You know, like bring bring voyaging. You know, just for that, it's exploration. Exploring, not not exploration. <laughs> exploration is, is it's another Boating. skill. That's a different okay. skill. Oh. We're gonna later. rename it again here. It's just gonna be called water ringing. <laughs> water ringing, <laughs> water ringing H two O. Yeah, yeah. But, but for water all guys, smuggling, smuggling down in the comments. Yeah, either way. any of those words. Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Right, wrap up? Oh, after this. No, the... It's been a pleasure, dude. Thank you very much for coming on. Um, yeah, dude, it's been fun. We definitely would love to have you on again at some point for whatever you want to come on for. When we save the world uh, again. When the next yeah. skill gets announced. Yeah. 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 When you're I'll talk about fire dosing a little more. <laughs> you, you can come on when you're going to become a dunkle if you want. <laughs> you oh talk God. about all of that shit. Oh, gosh. How, how, many, how many like extra toes they have and all that, you know, all that good stuff. But, bro, yeah. where can the people find you? What are your social medias? Um, yeah, no, just Flomple. Search Flomple anywhere. Uh, Twitch. Well, maybe not anywhere. Twitch, Twitch. YouTube, Twitter. Um, we'll link yeah. those in the description. Yeah, all right. We, we, we got you down below, bro. All right, mate. Sounds well, great. you have a fantastic evening with your sister, man, and my, it's good to catch up. My newest YouTube video, as of the release of this, is 10 hours of silence, randomly interrupted by RuneScape sound effects. And it's just like, it's like 45 minutes of dead <laughs> silence, like nothing. You don't even remember the video's going, and then it's just the high alcohy sound <laughs> at full volume. Oh so my that's God. the kind of videos that I put on YouTube. Highly yeah, recommend you check right. those out. Yeah, that check him out. Good, man. I'm, I'm literally looking it up right now. I'm gonna check that out tonight. All right, boys. Well, until next time, you know. But leave you leave your comments, you know, of, of your ideas, or if you like the idea, or expand upon the idea. Okay. Wait, is there? All right.